Another beautiful day, chat. Another beautiful day. My throat's feeling better today, believe it or not. I still have to go to the doctor, which I'm doing on uh, Monday. So Monday I probably cannot stream, we'll see. It's early in the morning, crack of dawn, which unfortunately does not agree very well with my schedule. But um, at the very least, I don't feel as shitty. So that's good. And that means I'm back uh, in full streaming force. Aside from maybe Monday, which is just going to be sort of a coin flip as to how long it takes for me to wrap that up and go to sleep. We'll see. Uh, we're playing a game that is essentially uh, the same way almost anyone who tries to monetize SCP Containment Breach uh, does it nowadays. Which is, you just make up new ones and then sell the game. This is, this is a, I think a Korean game that was then made into a uh, that was then translated to English. I don't think it's Japanese. I think this is a Korean game. You can tell because because of the fact that when I turned on the game, uh, I had to navigate to the options menu to find English translations. <laughs> but this game has been recommended to me a thousand times. Uh, over the course of the last couple of months. I tried it out ages ago, uh, but it wasn't done yet. I think it was still in early access back then. So uh, we're gonna give it a go now that it's like finished. Uh, I was skeptical to play it when I first turned it on earlier. And then I watched one of my employees vomit all over themselves as a inanimate dummy wobbled out into the hallway during the tutorial. Uh, they died. Uh, they fucking freaked out. Everyone else was like, fine. Like, people were like hitting it and knocking the dummy back into its containment thing. This is an inanimate dummy. Uh, yeah, the guy fucking started talking about how he had a, a lovely coffee with his dead employee friend from yesterday. No one died the day before, so I don't know who he was talking about. Then he died. Uh, then he died. So, I was like, okay, well, you know, that's okay. I guess I can play this for a little bit. Try Give it a go. Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of the anime chat. I'm not gonna lie, but like I've talked about when it came to Yuppie Psycho um, I really couldn't give less of a shit about the art style of a game if the content is goofy good shit and uh, My second SCP well monster is I guess what uh, anomalous being that they uh, gave me was literally shrimp next to a vending machine and the vending machine would deposit drinks of your choice until it killed you if you didn't select the right drink. So that I was like, okay, yeah. Okay. Alright. Hey, alright. So, uh, we'll give this a go today. We'll give it a nice try. A solid try. And, uh... You know. It was this or Killer7. Lots of people recommended I play Killer7 over the last couple months as well. That's on the list for one of these days, but that game felt like a little bit more of a, uh, like a, like a little bit of a fucking big deal to pick up, so I decided to put it off and play something that was a little bit more, slightly more chill than playing essentially me Metal Gear commentary lore on crack cocaine, uh, so. We'll do this for today. I still want to do Fable 2 this week. That was like the fucking backup backup is Fable since that's been ready to go for ages. But that'll be soon. That'll be soon. Am I feeling better? I'm feeling a little better. Uh, I don't, my throat doesn't hurt anywhere near as much. I was able to like hang out and play Arma last night without also feeling like I shouldn't have done it at the end. Like I've like I felt every single time I've stopped playing Arma with the boys. <laughs> man oh man chat. If you saw Lawman stream and you saw how many <laughs> fucking how many people couldn't even handle the hardest core version of Arma, it was actually <laughs> I don't wanna say pathetic to pick on all my friends, but they'll never see this anyways. It was actually pathetic. Uh Sorry, guys. As a master gamer who plays games at their maximum level, uh, I, I barely even died. 
I don't- I think I only died once the entire time we played last night. Everyone else died like 40 times. Uh, I fucking- I- I was the master. I literally- I'm a master. I'm the- I'm the world's greatest. We can all agree on it now more so than ever. Simple as that. Can't die if you can't log in. That was fixed last night on the dedicated server. Where I proved once and for all that even when logged in, I can't die. And the one time I did almost die, I fu I fucking I, I had I had to choose death in the respawn section. I never died. I was just like unconscious on the ground, and no one came to save me because they were all dead. That's what happened. Chat. I never die. I'm literally, I'm I'm the greatest. All right. Simple. Simple. All right, but yeah. Until Kraken or Lawman kill you on a ride to combat. See, here's the trick about me when it comes to playing Arma. One, I'll probably stream it next time we play it. If it's like, if it seems like we got a good group and people are gonna fucking, oh God, the music's off. Hang on. Ah, there we go. Uh, I'd probably stream it again if we have a good group because I feel like, I feel like I play that game in a very similar way to how I do Stalker, and I'd be fine to commentate behind that while we all hang out, if I can set up the audio properly beforehand. But, uh, yeah, I would... I would slam that shit, dude. I'm fucking... I got, I got the touch. But we'll see. We'll see. But I'd wanna have... I'd wanna have, like, the fucking group thought about playing First Contact. Nah, I couldn't give less of a... Chat, let me make this clear. Uh, I couldn't give less of a shit about Arma single player content um, in any way, shape, or form. I've heard that some of it's pretty good, um, but I I would not care in the slightest if it didn't exist. That's my take. That's my hot take on Arma. Arma single player is just to check if your mods are working. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong, friend. You're not wrong. Uh, I'm gonna catch up on notifications because there's a fucking lot of them, actually. Christopher, thank you for the six months. Gonna manage the heck out of these monsters. Chat, if, uh, if this game... I'm gonna play through the the uh, tutorial for you guys so everyone's on the same page for everything because uh, I haven't played enough of this to be able to properly explain it like Cliff Note style to you. So I'll play through the tutorial again. So everyone is sort of on the same page. I'll just go through it really quickly. It's not that long. It's like five minutes. Um, and you guys will see. The game. The game's not that hard. All right. It's not going to be that hard for me to contain these fools. Until later when it gets harder. But the first couple. You sort of have to try to lose the game. It's sort of like. You got to like fucking. You got to actively seek out the worst way to deal with every monster. And then toss your guys in there. And then be like. Now die. It's your time, employee number five. Die. Freak out everyone before you go to, like, do a scream when you go down. Like, it, it's that hard. Like, the shrimps in the shrimp vending machine room don't even try to get out. They just sort of say, hey, and do, like, a shrimp sound and then point at the vending machine, which then makes a grape soda. And then you drink the grape soda and then you leave. Simple as that. It's not... It's not hard. It's not, it's not challenging. Oh, fuck. Okay, Mordred, thanks for getting five gifted subscriptions. Thank you so much, Mordred. Very kind of you. Very kind of you indeed. Sigur, thank you for the seven months prime. Yay, yay, thanks. Path54, thanks for the eight months prime. Shredicus, seven months. Wait, is this an official stream of THE Tomato Gaming? Yeah, I'm rebranding my name to Tomato Laming, Chat, actually. Uh, I heard from, from uh, you know, uh, test groups that gaming is actually dying. Ninja's gone. Gaming is done. I've got to invest in a new sort of, you know, in a new demographic uh, that, applies, that, that applies to the toxic Zoomers that are now going to be watching me in this post-apocalyptic streaming world, this landscape. And it's going to be, it's got to be Laming. Gaming is done. Laming is in. It's in.
It's in. It's all over. It's all over. It's all over. It's all over. We should pack up now. It's over, chat. Streaming is done. I'm going to be moving to SoundCloud and doing podcasts. We'll talk about... Well, basically, it's it'll be like one long stream intro, chat. Except much like stream intros, I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Except for what you guys are talking about, which is always pretty epic. Path54, thanks for the prime. Eight months. The Ravens Cry, two months. I was just watching your carnival stream. R.I.P. Rasta Banana. I'll come back to that game whenever they add more games again or a new zone. I definitely will. I just, I'll probably reload the exact same save. So we keep that pile of fucking lottery tickets. But, god damn it, I can't believe I got soft locked on that machine. That's the only reason I stopped. I was gonna go for like another two hours. And actually get the banana. But then they fucking locked me. They glued me to the machine. Like you monsters. I don't know what to say. Uh, irritate, irritated avian. Thank you for the 500 bits. Team to pause stream. You want me to pause the stream for you while you're still at work? That's not going to be happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Actually, wait, I will. Yeah. All right. Now that he's gone, we're free. Sorry, chat. Sorry about that little detour. We got him, though. We got him. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Rorschach, thanks for gifting a sub. Leo de Coolio, eight months. Bonanza is all they say. Nice. Sergeant Rorschach then gifted uh, probably about like 10 more subscriptions of some shit over the course of the last like 20 minutes. Thank you so much, Rorschach. For, I guess, taking coordinated shots at anyone that's not subscribed in my chat by the looks of it. It's solid. Solid aim there, friend. Thank you. So much. Leo de Coolio, thanks again for the bonanza, the message. So, so awesome. Skeller fella, four months prime. MFW, two months. Now, this is romantic. What, this song? This song's pretty wacky. I wouldn't call it romantic. I guess that was I guess that was 15 minutes ago. So it was probably during one of the nicer songs. Malchi, thank you for the seven months prime. They just sniff. Sleagle, seven months prime as well. Seven months. Keeping me sane through the shit. Cheers. Thanks. Sir Fury, three months prime. Decaf 718, two months. Sergeant Rorschach gifting another sub. God. I, I already thanked you for like all of them in one big bundle, Rorschach. Thank you for the 10, probably, subs there, yeah. Uh, that carry, two months. Two months, baby. Happy to see you. Thanks for the deep laughs. Thanks. Stixon, with the five gifted subscriptions. Thank you so much, Stixon. Dirty Rat Boy, seven months. Love your streams. They saved me from the unyielding nightmare void. Thanks, Smile. You're welcome, Smile. Uh, Vinathan, 500 bits. Tanto, just wanted to say you become one of my favorite streamers, and I always look forward to your streams. Thanks for the laughs, friendo. Thanks for watching them, friendo. Anlek999, thanks for the prime. Tom, TBIA, seven months. Just coming off a 13-hour shift, and I don't know what to say, but it's been seven months, and here's to many more. Have a good stream, smile. Psych, this is my last one. It's over right now. <laughs> I got you guys again. <laughs> Uh, that's actually coming up next week. Uh, next week I'm done. Uh, for real. For real, I'm sick of it. I'm done. There's nothing left. I've already done streaming. I've streamed enough. It's time to move on to new stuff. I'm going to write a book. That's right. What kind of book you might be asking? An educational textbook for schools. About... Uh, uh, fuck, what do I even know that I could write a book for a school about? Uh, streaming. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna write a gamer book so that they can finally make a class worth teaching about how to be a professional gamer. Oh god, that'd be a book about being a loser, said someone in the chat. Good shit, guys. 
Oh, yeah. Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. No, it's gonna be a Fortnite tutorial, that's right. Is Fortnite still in? I thought Minecraft was in again now. I thought Minecraft snuck up from, like, the grave, like, the Shadow Realm. Snuck up behind Fortnite and fucking shot it in the back of the head and was like, we're back, and then started teabagging Fortnite's body. Is that what's happening right now? We never left, bitch, says Steve Minecraft. Then he fucking cleaves Fortnite in two with his fucking diamond sword. And then a creeper blows them all up. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Pastorone, two months prime. Sloppy Dolphin, four months prime. Jamming, two months. Get well soon, Tamto. I'm feeling better today. Not like perfect yet, but I'm feeling like good enough that I can actually like stream and not feel like, and not be saying to myself the whole time I'm streaming, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, shouldn't have done it, uh oh, uh oh, probably, probably shouldn't have. Can I still leave? I'm an hour into the stream. I can't, I can't leave now, because that's been every other stream up until this one. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good this time. Doesn't good cavity. Thanks for gifting a sub. Thank you very much. Orange. Four months. Su... Su... Sai... Si Two months. Gets home just in time for Tampo stream. I'm sorry if I butcher people's names that have actually no fucking functional way of being pronounced. <laughs> it's pronounced Shwa... Shogar. <laughs> Shwogar. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, go on. Sorry. The Nerd Bomb, thank you for the subscription. Blue Zack, two months, Comrade 135, tier three. Subscription for eight months. Your streams make my day. Good. I have to meet a quota, or the stream cops come. And they take it. The stream. They take it back. They've given me- I'm on stream parole chat. Ever since- Ever since what happened during that one stream that we don't talk about. <laughs> we don't talk about that gamer stream. When is the tier three resident sleeper emote? I don't know. I gotta talk to. I gotta set up some more emotes for Cacophony to start working on. But I, I do. I do both like the idea of my tier three subscription emote being literally a trap that Nightbot is set to permanently ban someone on whenever they use it. <laughs> but simultaneously, that might not be good for my, uh, image. I know that so doesn't sound like a good word to say when describing your brand, but that might not be good for my image. <laughs> if I have an emote that's essentially not allowed on my own channel, because it'll just ban you. It'd be very popular on other people's channels as a result. Which is even worse, and I, that's what, that's probably, that, that, that emote would be begging for, like, toxic spam, and that's why I don't want to add something like that. Because of just the fact that on my channel it's not allowed, I wouldn't want it to become some bullshit somewhere else. Though I guess gatekeeping it behind a $25 emote, uh, subscription is a different deal. I, I suppose that sort of makes it function. I suppose that makes- I'm a genius marketer, chat. I should just do it. I'm a fucking stream genius, alright? And by I'm a stream genius, I mean I usually lift most of my ideas from you guys. <laughs> and then I take the credit, and then I shadow ban the person who said it once their name scrolls off of the chat. That's right. Whoever it was who came up with that idea two months ago. Oh wait, you can't even tell anyone now, because I shadow banned you. God. Pathetic. Where the fuck
fuck do all these notifications keep coming from? Rainbow Golem, two months, my monthly tribute to the quintessential game, I thank you. I accept the tribute. Punk Rock Polly, with a subscription. Magikarp, level 100, two months, thank you. Planner, 250 bits. Hi, smile, hi. Bane Raxon, two months prime, thank you. Sarah Mayhem, seven months. Thanks for the great streams and community. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. To Wise with the 100 bits. I believe in my cards, not like you. Dude, uh, whenever I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid, because who didn't? Let's be real. If you were from that era, who didn't? I always just imagined how easy it would be to walk up to someone without cards and say, I challenge you to a duel. And then they say, what? And then you send them instantly to the Shadow Realm by default. Like, how easy is that? It's the perfect fucking crime. How do they, if they don't have cards, how do they win? And then they're to the Shadow Realm. Which, but also, how did that, how the fuck did Kaiba's company not go to shit after it became very clear that every card he was selling was some sort of mystical demon gateway to the Shadow Realm? <laughs> Hey, Kaiba, how are you not sued? Like, sent to jail? Yeah, his... That's like... That's like fucking when you play Pokemon, like, with a friend. Like, a, a, on, like, mo, like a... That's like playing any, like, DS or, like, any mobile Pokemon game. Or, I guess, Pokemon cards in the real world. And then all of a sudden, you just disappear. Poof. Poof, I'm gone. You destroyed my Pikachu, and now I have entered the, the, the Poke Zone. Uh, which is just fire. Oh yeah, that's right. If you try to arrest someone, they just challenge you to a duel. I guess it's a pretty solid way to have no law enforcement ever want to join your fucking, like, the law enforcement of a city ever, is the constant threat of some kid running up to you and saying, I challenge you to a duel. You look at them and you realize they got the Shadow Realm in their eyes. It was rampant. There was no way to stop it. Fucking zoomers, man. What if the cops have cards? Maybe. Shoot to kill you. Anytime you see cards, you gotta take the shot. It's you with the realm. Understand, understand chat? It's you with a fucking realm. I choose, I choose them over me. If I have to have, if I have to make a choice, I choose, I, 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 I choose them. See with the realm. Don't take any chances. He was reaching for his deck. Beetlejuice, thank you for the prime. Two months. All right. Well, chat. We might as well begin, cause uh, whether we like it or not, we do have to do the tutorial. This game's got some bumpin' music, but I had to turn it down a tiny bit, because, uh, it's pretty much the only sounds in the game. And it does sort of end up just going on and on. Tutorials? What face? Look, it's important to do the tutorials in a game like this, because people may not know it, and I'm not good enough at explaining it for people to understand what's going on. So, I am going to quickly run through the tutorial, mainly because I also want to show you guys the SCP they chose for the tutorial, because... It's some good shit. Welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. Face the fear, build the future. This game is trial and error. Yeah, that's like the whole game, but they give you a lot of chances to fucking fix your shit by also redoing days if you fuck up super bad. So, you're usually pretty good. We'll do the tutorial. So people understand what's happening before I go into the game. Because uh, I have... I have... Uh, I don't have enough knowledge of the game to properly explain it like I do with most of my shit, so. Shall we? So essentially this is, this is SCP, uh, but they weren't allowed to use SCP on account of the fact that uh, SCP is not allowed to be monetized and it's made by Korean devs. So it's, it's a little anime. It's a little ayaya, if you know what I'm saying, but hey. Look at it from the perspective of, is the game good? Rather than see, rather than saying to yourself, is this anime weeb shit in my tomato stream? You know? 
as always. Shall we begin? Hello, manager. Welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. Starting today, you are responsible for managing abnormalities we have and ensuring we meet the daily energy quota. All right, moving around, blah, 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 slider zooming in and out. All this stuff is meaningless for a minute. This is one of our people. This stuff over here is their various stats. This is the weapon that they're carrying. This is their armor. Uh, they have a suit, so they don't have any armor. Uh, but everyone, or at least this person, has a riot stick, which is the most basic, worthless weapon you could ever have. Which won't help you in a battle, or anything. At least it's pretty much doomed if any sort of monster were to escape this... ...facility. <laughs> but that's stuff we can figure out in a second. Let's look at the manual. The bar on the top left here shows the amount of energy you need to collect for the day. So essentially to finish any day in the game, we have to research a certain amount of SCPs, well, abnormalities, in order to generate energy. Because if we don't generate enough energy, we can't move on. So I'm going to send Eliza here, or Elisa, whatever the fuck, uh, to do an instinct investigation on SCP-000-00. Tomato playing anime again. Life to all Jews, I'm going to ban you from my channel. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. You think I'm fucking around? Say it again. Do it once more. Come forward! Alright, this guy took the bullet for you. Feel lucky. He took it. Some, some random good Samaritan jumped in the way of the bullet. Got it for you. Congrats. Shall we? So, whenever you investigate an abnormality, uh, you start to generate energy. But at the same time, it starts to generate kill points, as you'll start to see over here. Uh, this is as a result of us picking... Uh, uh, one of the the one of four options for investigation that wasn't the best one essentially So you sort of have to do a coin flip to see if you're gonna get a good investigation before you understand more about an actual One of the abnormalities. So this one was okay because we only got one bad one We only got one bad point there so we got nine energy out of that so technically we only have to do one more of these And we gain a little bit of research for him. Poke it with a stick. Well, I mean, chat, it's, it's, it's not much of anything. This is just SCP-0000. It feels sad about the employee leaving, and it wants to follow them. For what reason? No one truly understands or knows. But it simply, it simply acknowledges that there was something in the room with it, and then wanted to follow it when it left. It just feels sad. It's as simple as that. So that was a happy experiment. So we got some actual points for that, which means uh, if this is actually the part of the game that lets me do it. Well, uh, right now it's explaining our health and shit, which is all meaningless to me. No one's gonna die on zero, 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 zero. Okay, no one's gonna, no one's gonna lose their mind on this one. Look, a spunky new employee has no chance of going down against the literal tutorial dummy, understand? So we're gonna send it in to do one more. This time an insight investigation, cause uh, the, the, the other one didn't exactly work perfectly. So we're gonna send, we're gonna send this here spunky new employee to check it out using a different investigation style. Uh, it's a dummy who thinks he's an employee of the facility. He seems to like people. It's circling around the employee. Uh, it's thinking about the center of the world. It feels sad about the employee leaving again. And then, and then now that we've re received a nice amount of research points for it, we can actually learn about it. So we can get basic information about the SCP now that we've successfully researched it to some extent. This is a training standard dummy. It's, that's it, chat. The whole time, it, we, what we thought was an abnorm ab abnormality was in fact just a dummy used to train our employees, we fooled them, chat. This is what makes us good managers. Okay? 
This is what makes us solid managers. We fooled, we fooled, even, even all of us were fooled into believing that this was an SCP, when in fact, it was an inanimate object we used for training purposes. So we can get some management tips so that we understand more about the, uh, the monster, in this case, a training dummy. And we can also unlock here using more research points, which we have 15 of from our, our two successful researchers, uh, to find out what is the best way to research it. Up here, we have other stuff we can purchase, which is essentially how we defend against it uh, in the case of it escaping. Uh, that you can defend against an SCP if it were to get out with any kind of weapon, technically, but crafting ones that are custom made to deal with a containment breach is the best way to deal with a problem. So naturally, we've attached a small child to a stick and we're gonna beat it to shit if it ever gets out of its cage with the small child attached to the stick. Uh, this is our weapon. We're gonna manufacture one of each to protect ourselves in case the rabbit dummy ever gets out of its box. We need his energy, understand? So yeah, there we go. Uh, aside from learning about its story, a dummy abnormality used to train soon-to-be managers, i.e. me. That's right, chat. This is my new job. Some rumor says that it became a training abnormality since it is the most docile and tame. It is called Dummy Rabbit, but doesn't seem to like carrots. It likes people. If it escapes, it is merely following the person who is leaving, and that's it. It holds no hatred in its heart. It just follows people around. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Well, we'll generate a tiny bit more energy. Uh, just so we can clear out the day. Now, what it's telling us right now is this bar right here. This is the meltdown bar. If we fuck up too many of these situations, uh, th that's the red dots on any of these investigations. The red bar here, uh, which varies depending on what kind of investigation you choose to do on an enclosure. If you charge too many of those up, eventually the place is going to melt down and an abnormality is going to escape. I.e., in this case, if we melt down, there's only one abnormality that can escape. Uh, it's the dummy. When the Klyphoff meltdown happens, the containment unit has beside the alert indication a timer displayed. Uh, which is going to basically just tell us when something's going to escape. So it's actually melting down right now. Uh, Lisa has no idea what's about to happen to her. But whenever it happens, you know, it's not guaranteed. It goes on up to the next tier. Uh, the higher the meltdown is, the more containment units will be affected by the meltdown. So right now we're only on meltdown one, meaning only one SCP would escape, uh, which is just this one. I think it's random, uh, but... We'd only get one, but we're gonna learn about that in the next game. So this pretty much just tells us like, oh, this person was promoted today because they didn't fuck up or die, which can happen. It can happen. So we just basically, we get a reward because no one died on our watch. So that's an S rank. And then we move on to the next game. I'll be able to explain this more when the game is giving me a billion different pop-ups. But, um, it is easier to explain it all in the order that the game would want me to, so as to not blow all of your fucking minds. The UI's good, it's a little bit hard to tell what's clickable at first, so, uh, bear with me as I get used to it again. When you successfully manage to clear a mission on the previous day, you can conduct research. Per proposals for research are then displayed at the start of the day. You can select one and conduct the research by clicking and dragging it to the slot in the lower right, then hitting OK. Please try to do so with this example research. This is integrated research for temporal integrated research. Uh, it's just a, it's just a tutorial. And then OK. So now we're researching some bullshit. So do you recall how much LOB you re received during the management? the other day. You can see the total amount of LOB you have in the left over there. During this tutorial phase, I will show you how you can spend your LOB, how you can hire new employees, and how you can set them up for deployment. Okay. So essentially with LOB points, we can hire new people, which we'll need. Uh, oh, you guys all think this is so anime and shit. Um, 
It's not gonna be once the demon of 1,000 sins escapes his containment and melts someone's face off, all right? You all think it's so cute and wacky until the demon of 1,000 sins eats fucking Max's brain, all right? <laughs> My face, I yeah, yeah. All right, chat. Here you can see information and looks of your soon-to-be new employee. You can increase one of the four state values before hiring them by clicking the arrow button next to it. For example, uh, if you wish to hire an employee that has more HP, you can increase its fortitude. Okay. So that's gonna make us go through two of our three LOB points by hiring an employee with slightly higher health. Uh, so now we're gonna hire Ma Maximin to the team. Uh, we are, however, going to spend one more LOB before we do that to also increase the prudence, which we can do in post on any character. So now, Maximin is on the team with their friend Max and Velasquez. And now we can go on over to the Ego list, which is the weapons that we crafted to prevent dummies from escaping the facility, just in case. So as you can see here, we can now grab the training standard Ego Teth Hammer that we crafted in case any of the dummies escape. This is what we use to beat it down, its own children. So we can apply this to every single person along with the suit we also crafted through research. And we have three slots for each thing we manufacture. So we can give everyone the nice new hammer and suit. So everyone in, everyone in this squad right now is perfectly kitted out to beat the ever-loving shit out of Dummy Rabbit if he ever tries following anyone out of that box. And we're good. Let's pack up and start the next day. Remember, chat, he might look harmless, dummy rabbit. The fucking rabbit bastard. But I know he's up to something, chat. Look at him. Why would he be in a place like this if he wasn't up to something? Look at his eyes. Note the eyes, chat. Note the eyes. I don't know what he's planning. But there could be anything behind his back right now. Plotting something. Let me explain how to deal with emergency situations. The number displayed here is called a Quifloff counter. Okay. It will decrease when you do something that violates the guidelines. Displayed at the, mar the managerial works on abnormalities information screen or fail to avert Quifloff meltdown in time. So that's this spot up here, I think. Are you wondering now what would happen when the Quifloff counter of an abnormality hits zero? Let's find out. Please select the containment unit and order an employee to do repression work. Uh, okay. All right, Griffin. Uh, wait, I'm gonna send guy with shit on his head. I'm gonna send Xiao, uh, shit head, to do repression work on the dummy. Yeah. He, he's got it. He's got it under control, chat. All right, shit head. Uh, He's just doing normal old repression work. Actually, that was like flawless. Damn! That was the perfect repression. Okay. Um, I guess I'll send someone else to do it again. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. Chat. He's free. He's out! He's out of his containment. Okay, well, um, when the abnormality's Quifloff counter hits zero, the abnormality will escape or use a special ability. This can lead to inconvenient situations. This particular abnormality happens to escape under the condition, under this condition. Employees can't work with it when it is escaped, so we'll need to suppress it. Please select the escaped abnormality. Okay. Abnormalities have four different types of damage they can inflict on employees. Red, which decreases HP. White, which decreases sanity. Black, which decreases both HP, SP, and Pale, which is, which decreases health by percentages based on the targets. I'm never gonna understand that. Employees equipped with Ego weapons can also utilize one of these four damage types. Okay. Abnormalities also have a set uh, of defenses based on damage types. Uh, typically though, you're pretty safe if you just use the weapon uh, associated with your very specific SCP, which we've already crafted. Um, 
You can suppress an abnormality more effectively using your employee's attacks, using the same type of damage the abnormality is weak against, which in this case is uh, white damage, as you can see. We wouldn't want to beat this thing with, no, with our hands. It wouldn't work. So the old batons we had, which were only red damage, uh, would have would have resulted in our absolute death. So I'm going to be sending our squad here. I'm going to be sending River to engage with the monster. Epsilon Zero is already losing her mind. She doesn't understand how it got out of its containment. Look, within moments, it's already falling apart in the facility. Wow, how? How did he escape? Uh. Uh, uh, here comes River. Uh, uh, we're being ripped to shreds. Oh, it's all going wrong. It looks like this abnormality might be a bit too strong to suppress with just one employee. River can barely, he can barely handle the chat. Look at him. Look, they're being overwhelmed by training standard dummy rabbit. We're going to need to save everyone we have. We need everyone. Send everyone. Send everyone. Everyone. Let's order the rest. Please select the other two employees. Okay. Suppress him. Get him. Go. Be careful. If an employee dies, I'm selecting all of them. Go get the training dummy. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember doing this so I didn't have any problem. Unpause? No, it's just locked in pause. You can pause by pressing the icon in the lower left. Yeah. Yeah, I read you loud and clear on that one, game. Okay, I just have to right click it again. Here they come. Here comes our squad. River's about to die out there, chat. Okay, and just like that, the training dummy's dead. We got him. Get contained by my squad. Everyone's pretty good now. Now that he's defeated. You did well handling this situation. Now let's move these employees to the main room in the department. Select them all by clicking and dragging with the primary mouse button. You got it. I'll just send them back. Uh, Epsilon Zero evidently should have not been hired. Uh, they're still freaking out. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, oh, no, no, what just happened to Shao? Oh, what's Shao doing? Hang on. The hallway is splashed with mud and brain. Uh, we need to clean it. We need to clean the brain blood. All right, when an employee has lost all their sanity points, they will panic. Uh, a panicked employee will show different behavior from a regular one and cannot be controlled. What they will do depends on their highest level state value. If you wish to learn more about this, please refer to the employee panic. So their highest state value is prudence, which means uh, they're freaking out and just muttering bullshit. I'm reckoning if their highest state value is fortitude, they would probably go on a rampage and start hurting people. Uh, if you wish to learn more about this, please refer to employee panic article in the manual. Please click on the, the panicked employee. All right, uh, Griffin. Beat the ever-loving- both of you, beat the ever-loving shit I saw my dead colleague yesterday. We had dinner and coffee together. He seemed all right. All right, kill him. Yep. Just beat the shit out of him. I'm glad he's not- he's just sort of shaking. Taken care of. I was excellent. Well done. If you, have to, if you ever get into a situation you'd wish to redo, such as reversing the damage that was done, you can do so by pressing escape and click return to the memory repository or by clicking on retry. When you choose memory, uh, when you choose return to memory repository, you can go back to the last day the memory was imprinted into the repository. This is basically undo the chapter. Now let's call the employees back to the main room of the department. Okay, you can do this by selecting all of them and using a secondary click on the desired location. Okay. Please try doing so. You're not letting me drag. Oh. Oh, you want me to press this. Alright, this will call everyone back to us. Alright, so if I press that, everyone will just come back to the place. Dude, they're dead. 
They, we didn't even kill this one. We put them back in their box. They're dead. Dude, Xiao is dead. We killed him. They're gone. They're dead dead. We killed him with sticks. Uh, donning the exact same demon that drove them crazy to begin with. That's not Xiao's blood. I know. But it's a mix of Xiao and the dummy's blood. Currently. Oh, wait, no, they're good. Wait, no, there's like super, they're super good. Okay. All right, time for the actual game where shit can actually happen. We don't get dummies anymore, chat, uh, as we go forward. We'll be getting shrimp and vending machines, among other things. Okay, first day. So chat permadeath then? I don't think I can name the people in chat. One sin and hundreds of good deeds. It feeds on the evil that surfaces during conversations between people. So, unfortunately, this game does carry over the shit I researched from last game, which is exclusively just this thing and the last and the next thing that I picked. So, um, don't worry too much. It'll just be like, I'll just know what I'm doing for like 10 seconds. Hello, X. Welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. I am Angela. Angela's gonna talk like this from now on. Your advisor and secretary, even though I am an AI, feel free to talk to me whenever you want. AIs can have a name, you know. I am created from one of the wings of the world. That means I am one of the best. Oh yeah, brother. Ah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I look too human to be an AI. Uh, yes, actually. Uh, but there is a big difference. I'm bound here. I can't go anywhere I want like you do. I can open a door or prepare a cup of coffee for you, but I can't go outside and enjoy the sun or breeze. Yeah, give me a life story, why don't you? Chat, I'm just here to do my job. I'm just here to do management. I don't really need to talk to the AI to do my job. Well, as you can see, my hair color is that of the morning sky. After yeah, I can, I, I can. Imagine being, imagine introducing yourself to your new manager and explaining why your hair color is the way it is. All right. Hi, yes, I'm here to do my, I, I really don't need your life story. My hair color is the morning sky after the rain. My voice is that of the wisest person in the world and my face is that of the person with the most beautiful smile. Uh-huh. Haha, -ha, it was a joke. There is no such person in real life. Thanks. <laughs> my appearance has been made to be attractive to as many people as possible. If you feel attracted to me, I'm working as intended. Is this borderline like AI harassment? Actually, in, in, in reality. Are you like HR? Do I need HR? Does this place have HR? Qual hey chat, keep in mind, all right? This is an AI. We can be as mean to them as they want and what can they do? Feel? Yeah, right. Well, AIs are far more efficient than humans when multitasking. I am the best in most areas. I can do the work of several dozen people at once. I'm sure that many people lost their job because of me. I feel sorry for them. All right. Enough of the in introduction. Do you have anything that you want to know? Yeah, tell me about the company. What else? Ah, uh, yes. I've took everyone's job but yours. <laughs> Good. Not bad for a question. Let me put it this way. The energy consumption rate is ever increasing as technologies advance. Conventional energy sources combined could not sustain the world anymore. In search of solutions, we stumbled upon mysterious beings dubbed as abnormalities and figured out that we could harvest energy from these beings using a special method. We isolate them in a controlled environment and harvest energy from them, form them. Chat, you gotta remember as we go forward, uh, this is a natively Korean dev and natively Korean game. And uh, the English translation uh, spelling is going to reflect that as we get deeper in. Most of the lore for the uh, abnormalities is fine, but some of the dialogue gets a little bit like crust. Haha, <laughs> that's not how you spell from. <laughs> the company became one of the wings of the world for this discovery. Once you're assigned as a manager, you can access the information about abnormalities from the encyclopedia. It is very important that you know and understand these beings to be successful as a manager. 
It's empty for now. Oh, <laughs> good. Wait, so you're telling me the one thing I need in order to do my job properly is completely blank. Solid. Angela, anything else you want to tell me? It's your subordinate's job to fill it with data. Oh, even better. And you have joined the company at an opportune moment. Lobotomy is looking for ways to improve its harvest processes. Our systems are continually updated to support this. Speaking of which, there has been a new update just before you came. That means working conditions have been improved. Have been... That means working conditions have been improved than those of your predecessors. Think it as a welcome. Think it as my welcome gift. I hope you do well. I was about to mention you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. This, this, this translation. Ugh. I was about to mention you. You don't understand the concept of patience, do you? It's like the AI got maple syrup spilled on it before it came out. <laughs> <laughs> Manager, I think you should meet other AIs. Lobotomy is a huge corporation. There are many AIs working in different departments. If I'm the Cerebrum, there's a, they're the Cerebellums. Naturally, I'm your most trusted AI. Shall we meet them now? Memories of all Serif... Sephiras are synchronized. Words. Okay, so now we've got all the different AI teams, which I can't unlock yet, aside from control team. You're supposed to expand the team every day. Do you want to unlock the control team and continue? But if, wait a minute, am I the only human working at this company? Is it just me and management? Is everyone else robots? Okay. Everyone else is battle borgs. I'm the only person. And, and one of the AIs just talked about earlier how they replaced everyone else. But me, Chet. Okay, well... Oh, man, we got like a... This person looks like they're already dying. Whatever. You're hired. Didn't you have hair last time I saw you, Elisa? You're dying. Whatever. You'll be good. You'll be good for a trip. We got two more lob points, so we're gonna hire one other person. We're gonna hire Vincent. Uh... And we're going to give them a buff to their prudence. Because we can afford that. There we go. Look at these two. One of them's dying, the other one's functional. We know who is sending in first to deal with... Zayin. The unknowable sin. Uh, but that's... Let's just go in. Welcome to uh, my laboratory chat. We're finally free uh, to do whatever we want. We just have to get 15 energy before the end of the day. Uh, we have one abnormality to work with. This isn't a dummy anymore, chat. This is something that can actually slay me uh, and murder everyone I know. Is that a floating skull? Yes, I've actually already discovered uh, this SCP because it's the one that they give you just for starting the game. I never built these, though, because that would have been somewhat cheating. But this is, uh... This is Zayin. One sin and hundreds of good deeds. He's done a lot of good stuff, but one bad thing, and that bad thing, chat, was murder. He did a murder one time, chat! Well, that's stuff we can do later. We can figure out why he did the murder later, because right now I'm going to send someone to investigate him. Uh, we're going to send someone to do attachment, attachment research, because that's uh, objectively the best one to do. So, um, hey, Alisa, go do a research on Zayin, the one sin and hundreds of good deeds for attachment. I, yeah, I get the feeling Skullboy would be fairly safe if he escaped, considering he's the starter SCP. He's just singing. Alicia's sins shall reach one sin and hundreds of sin deeds. He's... He's absorbing Alicia's sins! He's the Punisher. This thing's the Punisher of sins. Elisa failed to trigger a reaction from one sin and hundreds of good deeds. Ah. Uh, what does that mean? It isn't possible for just once... For just once to forgive an act of... What the fuck? Translation gibberish chat. All I truly know is that we earned half of our quota in one fell swoop. Without much issue. 
and everyone's doing good. Why is half the people in our group? Who's this? Who is that? I don't know, I don't control half of these people. These two are like, not employees, they're loitering. They don't work for me. I have no control over them. I'm gonna send Vincent in to complete our research for today. So we can actually begin our work. We got all these D-boys wandering around doing nothing. And while that's happening, I'm gonna purchase the rest of our stuff because we do have some spare PE boxes. One sin in hundreds of good deeds restores the employee's SB when work results are good. Morty, who is on the receiving end, commented that it was refreshing. After perfectly producing PE boxes, one sin in hundreds of good deeds restored the SP of all employees in the department. So he's sort of like a good boy. Chat, this is a this is a, if you do good work with him, he actually does a globally good deed. See, he just did a good deed. He just helped out. He just restored our SP to maximum by not fucking up. And now, you benched. You're out of here. One sin in hundreds of good deeds. I'm done with you. We're never using him again. S rank, easy. How do you even die on your first one? That's 101 good deeds and one bad sin. What about the one sin? He fucking, guys, he downloaded a movie illegally on Pirate Bay. That was his bad one. And that's why he's the demon he is today. Pirating doesn't pay, chat. Torrenting, it doesn't pay. You're gonna go straight to hell. Straight to hell, you're, you're a thief. <sighs> okay, well, let's go to the next day. That's just the warm-up. Now we have to deal with... More. Beings. They give you a spare, uh, SCP every day. And now, we have to choose from stuff that we don't know, chat. So our options for today to take onto our plate now is, um... Only really gonna explain as a result of the text we get there. We're not gonna understand anything but their dialogue. People have been committing sins from a long time ago. Why do they commit such a thing even when they know that it is a bad? I'm gonna talk in gibberish for everyone if uh, the translation can't handle it themselves. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk in moon speak for you guys. I'm going to try my hardest to both make this more understandable and less understandable as we go on. That's gonna be a fun game we all get to play together. This is a record of the day that we must never forget. Okay, so this is like a book. All right, so this is the death sin. This is like a bad one. I can tell if we take this one, we're gonna get a bad time. This one's like, <laughs> <laughs> the Alamo, yells someone in chat. This is the Alamo, and this over here is... She was so talkative before. In the end, loneliness was the other listener. And this is like... This is like a high school girl. Uh, so we got, we got... We definitely don't want to go near that one. Uh, this is the Alamo. And this is... Uh, the Sin. So what do we do? I think I'm gonna pick the sin or the Alamo, but I'm sort of on a 50-50 on that. The Alamo, lonely person. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick the evil. I'm gonna, we're, we're, look, we're the sin team, all right? We, got, we already got one sin guy. We might as well get the next bad sin guy. Face the fear, rebuild the future. It's the motto of the founder whom we call A. Which part of the motto do you prefer? Face the fear. We're the first humans on Earth to discover abnormalities. Well, not me. I am not a human. Yeah, you keep telling me that, Angela. <laughs> How should I put it? We're pioneering a whole new world. The discoveries we made so far are merely the tip of an iceberg. Abnormalities were among us from the beginning. We have only recently noticed their presence. We discovered them and we fear them. They are frighteningly alien in nature. Yeah, well, let's level up control team again. Yeah. Okay, well, chat. Let's see what we're working with here. We don't even know what was in that box. They just gave it to us as a surprise. Uh, Cause that's fun management 
uh, practice is to surprise management by giving us empty, like boxes with like name tags that just say the death sin, lonely person. So we won't know till we go in. Uh, let me catch up on notifications quick. Jamie Lee Coitus gifted 10 subscriptions in the chaos. Thank you so much, Jamie Lee Coitus, for the 10 gifted subscriptions. Mother of God. Thank you so much. Dis and Caffeine gifting another sub. Pico Pico with the two months. Vod Boy here. Somehow I got gifted a sub, but I'm happy to continue it. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for continuing your sub. Moose in a desert. Six months prime. Keep up the great stuff, tomato. The twitching. Six months. I'm back. Mm, they sniff. All right, I got one. I got three lob points. We got two people. Uh, I should hire one more person and spend the rest of my lob points upgrading someone else. It may also be wise to apply the Zane penitent suit that we unlocked on our two two boys, just in case he ever escapes. You know, we've got a suit that I unlocked last time but never applied. So this will protect us from the Sin Skull in the in the event he escapes somehow. We don't have any weapons yet. But hey, you know, that's stuff we can figure out later. Much later. Uh, okay. So I'm going to hire a new person. We're going to get Ciro, who we definitely shouldn't be hiring. They look like they're shaky. They, this person looks like they're not going to do a very good job uh, in our company. But, you know, we got to take what we can get. Uh... So I'm gonna hire you. Welcome, Ciro, to the company. And hang on. Uh, did I already miss the chance to upgrade their stats? I think I already did. So I'm gonna hire one more person instead. I think I have to. I think I have to upgrade them before I get them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have to upgrade it. Button is up top. Oh, oh, I see. Reinforcement of employees. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the UI in this game is a little bit hard to get used to at first. Uh, which is why I'm glad I did the tutorial twice. Because sometimes it's sort of hard to see what the fuck is actually clickable at first. Alright. I'm gonna... We need someone with uh, the power of justice on their side. And who else but Vincent is what I would say if I had enough lob to do that. So instead, I'm going to just upgrade Vincent's fortitude and temperance to all twos. All right. Uh, let's start the day. Uh, is that the sin? Is that the master of sin? That's a bird on a stick. Crank down the music a tiny bit. Okay, uh, that's Sinbird, chat. I'm going to send someone to investigate it with insight. We're gonna send Vincent. And while that's happening, let's send someone to just deal with old one sin and hundreds of good deeds. Uh, we understand this guy, alright? We'll just send someone with attachment to look at them. They don't need to be very good at it. Okay, so over here, uh, 0256 feels like it's back in the forest it used to live in when sitting on the perch. Alright, looks like we picked a good uh, research thing. Actually, the perch is there to prevent 0256 from being stepped on due to its small size. I see. Okay, it's just a bird chat. 0256 never chirps, but its stomach twitches sometimes. What is... Is that blood on its stomach? Is that blood on its stomach, chat? Right there? Is that blood? It's probably nothing. Uh, why is it so quiet? Oh, the music was just looping. Not many know about 0256's hidden teeth. What do you mean? <laughs> what is that? I know! I know now about his hidden teeth! What do you mean, his hidden teeth? How's it going on this end? It's going well, as I expected. Uh, he's just doing his thing. This is the one I'm concerned about. That was an okay research. He actually did some shit, like, 
some bad shit to us. He was sort of looking at us wrong. We got enough research to try to figure out if there's something good going on. You must have made some sacrifices to collect half of the energy. Do not let those sacrifices be in, be in vain. Cheer up. All right. Chat, I know the safe move would be to just continue energizing with one sin and hundreds of good deeds because he's easy and doesn't really fight back. But Teethburn over here uh, provides us with much more energy. Look at the difference here. This He can only provide us with a maximum of not like 10 on his best research. Whereas 0256 over here can provide us with much more. Like four more or three more. Or I guess technically two more. By the way, we got eight boxes of research, which means uh, we can at the very least try to understand what might be the best way to research him, because I don't think Insight did it. So I'm going to try Brutality. All right, we don't want to whip out Brutality on the bird. Uh, that's not good for research. I'm going to see if maybe Repression? No, Attachment. Get attached to the bird. All right. So it's gonna be insight or repression. I'm gonna send someone in to research with repression and see maybe that's better than what we just dealt with there, which was a lukewarm reception with the teeth bird. Right, repression, repression. I'm gonna send someone to repress the bird. We're all level one repression, but hey, if anyone can take it, it's scared Ciro who can uh, handle repressing the, 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 the teeth bird. So you go, you go do that, Zero. I believe in you. Even if you don't believe in yourself. And simultaneously, someone please finish the game for us over here really quick. Uh, yeah, someone with like good attachment. Go, go do that, Vincent. Okay. Employees put a perch in 0256's containment chamber because it seemed to be bored. Slowly, slowly. Uh, okay, so Zero is scared of the bird. Um... Chat, why is it? Why is she scared of the bird? I don't understand. Uh oh! Oh no! Uh, actually, the purpose of the perch is to prevent unexpected physical hazard. Uh, okay, they're melting down. We've got a meltdown of the bird's containment. Zero, you need to finish this investigation now. Uh oh. Uh, how's it going over there? Almost done. That's good because we need everyone here. Oh, the bird's about to come out of its investigation chamber. I think. Don't panic. No one panic. All right, because that was a good... That was good. Uh, do I have enough research to make a weapon? No. I don't even have enough to get basic information. I know nothing about this bird, but he's going to get out in, tw in 60 seconds. Wait, the day's done. All right, chat. Alternative option. Since we have enough energy to leave, uh, I'm gonna let the bird get out. And I'm gonna see what it actually, how dangerous we're actually like, how, how dangerous this is. Understand? And then we just end the day as soon as that happens. And then we'll just see if, you know, if it's as bad as it looks. And then we'll just smash day two work complete the second that, uh, the second that it rotates, just so I know uh, what this is. Delta 3 has opted to take a walk down the road, down this hall. Uh, Alright, 12 seconds. I'm getting good vibes from this idea. Same. Okay. Alright, it's fluttering down the hall. Uh, someone just fell over and died! Is that a thing? Okay, now they're freaking out, but the bird is gone. Oh, the bird's back. They shot themselves. Okay, so I can't end the day because uh, the, the, the bird has made everyone shoot themselves. Mobilize, do something. Engage the bird. Kick its ass. Oh! oh! It just ate, uh, it just ate zero. It just ate them whole. So, um, gang. Uh. Smooth idea for this one, Vincent. Hey, can you do a, uh. 
Can you do a once in hundreds of good deeds research real quick? For me? Thanks, that'd be cool. Cause we need like five energy to end the day. Oh, the bird went back to his containment. That was nice of him. I should probably redo the day now. Uh, all things considered since the bird ate one of our employees. We should probably retry date. <laughs> okay. So the bird devoured Ciro, uh, gruesomely. We'll just do everything how we did it last time. Repression was good. So we'll send someone to do repression over there. And we'll have Vincent continue attachment work over here to make sure that everything is as clean and easy as possible. Ciro was new too. They had no idea what was about to happen to them as the bird's gaping teeth maw opened up. How was anyone? I mean, I guess you could know from the red blood stains on its stomach. Ha! How is a manager like me, the fucking AI has decided to keep everything secret until we discover it later. Well, at least I'm just gonna save all my points until I can get the lore. Okay, actually. <laughs> okay, actually, someone just died in there. Uh... <laughs> okay, actually, uh. Uh oh. Oh. Chat. There's a change of plans in Bird Room. Uh, we don't go there no more. We have to send Vincent, our best employee. No one else can go in there. You two, warm up at Skull Man, okay? Warm up at Skull Man, where it's safe. Vincent will go and do work using their stats that are ideal for this, which is insight. This is how we did it last time and Vincent didn't die. The last one died. Uh, cause they weren't talented enough to observe bird on stick. Bring ammo. Vincent didn't need ammo last time. They're focused and calmer than ever. Look at that, they're already one PE box in. Vincent can handle this. And over there, we can handle this part easy. Piece of cake. The skull is free XP, you know? Look at this, Vincent knows how to handle the bird. The bird ain't nothing compared to Vincent. Vincent does it like, like it's nothing. And the first thing we're gonna buy once we've learned more about the bird is a way to kill the bird, chat. That is my plan. Uh, I'm going to uh, discover a way to murder the bird. A little confident bird, oh, this is the abnormality story, by the way. A little confident bird that punishes the weak, the sinners, and other profane ones. Some employees stated that it looks fairly cute after seeing its small wings flapping. This is the Punisher of the Sinners chat. So I don't know what Ciro, Ciro's did, uh, but it was enough to convince this bird to devour her in entirety. I'm just not going to go near them again. That's my plan. I'm going to send more people to investigate the skull and we're gonna save the bird until we have more people at high enough stats to deal with the bird. Cause last time we fucked with the bird, someone shot themselves in the brain after seeing the, like, I guess they sinned? How am I supposed to know what everyone's up to in their free time? What, uh, Vincent? Is this a problem? You haven't sinned recently, ha no, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Just a bad start, it's a bad start, but we're good. Yeah, that's scary, dude. When they start to fuck up, we're, we're four away. All right, Vincent's brain, Vincent's doing good. Vincent's could do one more trip because they just got their SP completely recovered. They could do one more cycle of the bird, I think, in the inside. Managerial tips are supposed to be the most likely uh, to help me with an, with an abnormality. Okay, let's check out the tips. When an employee enters a containment room in another abnormality, 
00256's Quifloff counter is decreased uh, with normal probability. God, the fucking translation, dude. All right, let's see another tip. When Johnson, uh, the employee, falls into a panic, when Johnson employee? Who the fuck's Johnson the employee? Who's Johnson? Is this just telling me that if someone goes into a panic, this bird is gonna be... Uh... Okay, so Johnson is just an employee. I'm deciphering the translation here. Johnson was a employee. If any employee goes into a panic, the bird is gonna be less likely to break out. Okay. 0256ers uh, returned to containment room after a panicky employee became normal. Okay, so this bird will go back to containment if a panicking employee returns back to normal in the event it escapes. So the best way to prevent this bird from devouring the sinners is to have people recover from their panics. Or after it's been sated with the blood of the fall. I'm going to send... Vincent, on one more trip to examine the bird. Okay, this should be safe. Vincent knows better than anyone the dangers of mouth bird. Okay, Godspeed Vincent. Everyone, cheers. There's a meltdown happening uh, of Skull Man. That's not too bad. We have Skull Man armor. Also, Vincent is, uh... Vincent, you just need to get four, Vincent, and not die. J Vincent, just pull it up. Alright, just get it past 50% so you don't die, Vincent! Vincent! Yo! What was your sin? You're fine. Okay, we're good. I'm getting out. <laughs> I'm out! We're done! Forget it! Mission accomplished. We don't go near the bird anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that bird. But, um, it is, it is barely contained, chat. That's right, we did it. Let's go to the next day. Okay. The bird is, the bird is fucked up. Um, but now, hey, we got different options. And maybe one that won't, uh, devour us with its chest mouth. All right, 0483, everything will be peaceful while you are under the fairy's care. A fairy? Uh, a mystical fairy? That sounds nice. Good day today. Are you still shy today? Is 0292. And this one, uh, which is D02107, is just says, Sir, your angel is chewing a body part of your colleague. Yo, chat. Um, I'm gonna tell you this right now, because it's essentially the same as backseating or spoiling. I don't give a shit what you think sucks or doesn't suck if you've played this game. Don't tell me. Uh, I don't care about- and this is gonna sound mean, but it's the best way for me to make it clear. I don't care about what you thought was good in this game. Uh, don't tell me what stuff is bad and what isn't as I'm trying to pick something, okay? Now, if it's about the dialogue, that's a different story. But I can see people saying, before I even read it, 0483 sucks. Don't pick it. I don't care. Thanks. For understanding. I'm gonna pick 0292. Uh, out of just sheer concern for the fact that this one, I already have the bird. <laughs> I've got enough problems. Uh, I don't really want to have an angel eating me. 0292 is just shy. That means we can had we can handle something that doesn't want to even come out of its box. All right, right? We can handle we can handle something that doesn't want to come out. The bird wants to come out, and that's already enough. I'm gonna yank out 92. Hello, manager. It's your third day working here. Three is a mysterious number. Here we fucking go, angel again. Powerful beings in Fable often grant others three wishes. This is such a reach, Angela. Can you, like, just let me do my job? You stop me at the elevator every day to give me this shit. Well, I'm not a mage or a billionaire to grant you your wishes, but I know that your predecessors 
I know what your predecessors wanted. All of them seeked a sort of growth, leading the company to prosperity, achieving spiritual maturity. You name it. They all wanted to branch out to somewhere. How about you? My only two options are either prosperity or spiritual maturity. Ah, uh, I want to be rich. Your future is defined by what you do now. And now, you work for Lobotomy Corporation. In Lobotomy, you can see things that can't be seen, feel things that can't be felt, and do impossible things. I mean, I just tell other people to do impossible things while I watch and say, don't die this time. Come on. <laughs> Come on, give me the energy. That's all I do. I'm just the manager. Your wish will be granted. Perhaps you could be the best manager I have ever seen. Yeah, what happened to the other four? So, did their wish come true? Well, I guess what happened to others isn't important to you. No, what happened to the other managers? Angela? Angela? Where are the other managers? I will support you to reach your goal. Uh, okay. Well, control team. Leveled up again. I can't choose the other ones yet, so I'm just gonna keep leveling up control team. What? Chad, where are the other managers? Don't worry about it. I am gonna worry about it. I got it with a couple lob points. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is spend my points upgrading the people we currently have. Rather than... You know. Because we need people that are good at justice. Actually, that's all we have. I wonder if the bird appreciates justice. Ah... Uh... How much is it gonna cost for me to take someone up to three? All right, Zero is going to be our punch monster. If the bird ever gets out again, Zero will beat the shit out of it. We're, if it's gonna punish the weak, then we just won't be weak anymore. That as simple as that. Bada bing. There. Let's go. Okay, so, uh, what is this? Oh! Is that a bunch of faces on a board? With someone behind it, shifting between all of them? Will not move- uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, when we don't know what's going on, we send... Our toughest boy, Ciro, to do instinct research. Go ahead, Ciro. Show us what you got. Where are you anyways? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. We've expanded. We got like elevators and stuff now. Okay. Here they go. They don't look tough. They're timid. But uh, man oh man, if they can't punch this guy's face off between all five of them, he's going to take out, they're going to take out all five. If it comes down to it, check it. Let's just do what we've always been doing. Uh, all right. We're checking their nutrition of blood man. Uh. Okay. Okay. We're, 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 we're doing it. We're doing okay. Zero's got this. Uh. Yeah, um. They're not really worth much energy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Zero. Maybe time to come on out. No. Okay, she's done. Uh, she's actually gone crazy. And you know what that means? Uh, because I made them so powerful, um, their new plan is to beat the shit out of everyone else with the power I gave them! Oh. Alright. Teammates, mobilize. Take her out. I've made you strong, yes, but not so strong that I can't stop the monster I created, Ciro. You're going to have to stop. Oh god. Okay, uh, I think we're winning. I don't know. It's actually hard to tell because they're behind Vincent We got him We actually killed them right there They're dead we actually killed zero I'm going to reload because I think I could have handled this in such a way that didn't result in them being fucking murdered but I will tell you one thing. They're not going back in that room. <laughs> I 
I don't think brutality is gonna work against face monster. So let's rethink our strategy. Uh, by sending good old Vincent, who's never failed a mission before. Oh wow, we got a lot of, we can really unlock everything for one sin and a hundred good deeds. I guess we can also get, oh, I'm gonna manufacture uh, the new weapons. Uh, ego weapon, which does white damage. Okay, we need to discover something about the bird monster. Also, this is pretty cool, look at this. Uh, if you do enough research on something, eventually they might drop like gear that you can equip onto your people. So if we did enough research on this guy, there's a 5% chance he'd eventually drop a fucking thorn crown, which would boost the, uh, someone's sanity and brain power. That's cool shit. Well, this brain guy is officially the easiest work we can do in the entire company. So we'll just pretty much always have someone doing attachment research just to like do their, like just to do anything. And uh, we don't go here. <laughs> we don't touch this one anymore. After the accident, after what happened last time. Okay, uh, so how's it going? Vincent, don't fail me. Vincent looks like they're working pretty quick. Uh, it's actually another pretty much tie. Nope, Vincent's doing better. Okay, it's like a fucking, it's a race to the center. Vincent's losing the race. Uh-oh. I'd like to cancel now. I'd like to pull Vincent out of the box. Uh, maybe Vincent's okay. Their sanity's a lot better. Yeah, they're good. I mean, it was a bad research, but their sanity's better. So, uh, they didn't lose their minds like the last one. I thought Lobotomy Corp was just an eco-friendly energy producer, says Vincent, uh, politely and kindly walking out of Leather Mask Monster's house. Wow, I thought this was just an energy corporation makes energy. Wow, that's so weird. I didn't know energy was made like this. Well, goodbye. Okay, so we have five research. I'm going to ask how the previous manager dealt with Leather Monster. Wow, this one has a lot of tips. <laughs> Chat, this one has six tips on it. Uh, okay, well. This abnormality changes her facial expression at certain times. However, when she faces someone, she stops changing her face. From a smiling face to an angry face, she has five levels of facial expressions called one, two, three, four, and five. So you're telling me, you're telling me I need to time the face when I actually go in or else you tell me before I go in to treat this one, I should send someone here beforehand and then try to go in when it's in the middle. Because if I send someone in angry mode, <laughs> they're gonna get mad and explode their brain. Where were they at when Ciro was in there? What was their face at? Was it like bad? How was their face before? It was, it was in the middle? How the fuck did Ciro, I, that, that was supposed to be the easy one then. Okay, well, someone, some disposable, like, extra employee is gonna have to go in there and fucking die for me to get some more research so I actually understand what the fuck this is. Uh, tell you what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I'm going to get another management tip for the death bird. Uh, Order Morty employees uh, to take control of birds. When the employee tries to attack 0256, the central part of 0256 is broken and it's re good redaction there. After that, Morty employee's death is confirmed. Failure to suppress. So Morty was an employee. Uh, is what I was actually trying to say. Thank you, um, translation. Morty was devoured by the bird uh, after he tried to attack its, like, uh, body okay i'm gonna see how instinct would work with the bird comment yeah we don't want to use instinct i remember i think i actually unlocked that last time and didn't really have any success but i haven't really had much success with the bird at all in any situation uh matter of fact i just don't really want to go in there i i much prefer chat here's the problem chat and this is actually the really interesting part of this game uh 
if I did this fucking skull a billion times, eventually they'd escape. And I wouldn't have any way to defend myself from the much more dangerous monsters. So I need to do the bird because it's the highest likelihood I'm going to get any energy to be able to win the day. I have to do the bird because it provides the most energy, even on like not great ones. You're starving for lore on the skull. You guys want to know about the skull? The only safe being in our entire thing? A silent abnormality that understands the conflict between good and evil. Its empty eye sockets stare at all those who encounter it. We're of course talking about the one sin and hundreds of good deeds, Zayin. A giant skull that is attached to a cross with a crown of thorns. It floats about two meters above the ground. While its appearance is bizarre, incidents of violence against employees by it have rarely been recorded. It feeds on the evil that surfaces during conversations between people. The assigned employee must confess their sins to it. Its feeding mechanism is still unknown. Or so you just go here to like talk about uh, how fucking bad you've been? I've done bad shit today, Zayin. Is that that's sort of like how it works then? I go in and I talk to it and tell it my bad deeds. And then it eats the deeds. Okay, the sins have been cataloged in three levels. Level one, a small lie or action that either goes unnoticed or can be shared in jest. Level two, sins that are more serious and only shared to the closest of fr friends. S level three, sins so profound that they cannot be shared with anyone and are taken to the grave. Redacted has been assigned to confess level one sins. Energy production has been increased by 12%. Someone's been uh, assigned to confess level two sins, 15%. Someone was assigned to confess profound, horrific level 3 sins. One minute and 48 seconds after an employee was sent in, a bright flash of light was seen. The light was so bright that it was seen even outside the containment unit. Immediately following the light, there was a company-wide power outage. The phenomena lasted for two hours. Redacted lost six years of their memories. The experiment was cancelled following this incident. The level of mental corruption of all employees in the department was greatly decreased. Ethics decree that all footage of those who participated in the experiment were to be kept sealed. But the incident left us no choice but to review the footage in the containment unit. This happened during... At around 4 p.m. By the way, will this really work? Anyways, there was a railway about 20 minutes from my house. Some of my good friends and I decided to have ourselves dressed as forest animals. One of us decided to dress as a deer. It was a crude costume... One that could hardly be called a costume, to be honest. It was just a pair of clumsily made antlers and a dark outfit with some deer-like spots on it. Anyways, I don't know how our dear friend wandered into the woods. We didn't even realize he was missing for maybe an hour. We looked for him and finally found him in some bushes. We called out his name. I'm not sure if it was a relief, if it was the relief of finally finding us or what, but he started sprinting towards us. That's when we heard it. The gunshots. Bang, bang, bang. We didn't know where it came from, but when I came to my senses, I saw that his blood splattered all the way to my feet. After that, not one of us dressed up as an animal ever again. What? Guys, I got an idea. Hey, g <clears throat> guys, I got an idea. Takes a fucking, eats the pot raw, eats a whole fucking pot of pot, like the whole pot of marijuana, a whole pot of it. Cooks it up into a nice salad, eats it all. What if, what if I, what if we reenact Bambi, but I'm the deer? Guys, <coughs> what if I, what if I play Bambi's mom, and then we wait for someone to get me? Bro, bro, you're like, ah oh man, you're like crazy. We, uh, we should do it, we should. Fucking do it. We should do it. And this is just him telling the skull about the time he got his friend killed because his friend decided to reenact Bambi's mom's death in the movie Bambi in a forest where he was then shot by a dumbass hunter who somehow mistook a human in, an, in antlers for a deer. I hope that person specifically... How is that your guys is bad? That idiot fucking mistook. He was an upright running guy and he's like, it's a deer, it's running. 
I, 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 I don't know about that one, gang. Uh, yeah. Well, back to um deciding how to deal with the bird. Okay, well, you know, we've tried instinct, and instinct has never worked with the bird. I think attachment is one that we haven't tried. However, Vincent is half dead already. So it's actually sort of troubling to consider sending them into there, if I'm going to be honest. They'll probably be fine. Oh, Vincent, did the Vincent just heal? I think Vincent just healed a little bit. They did just heal a tiny bit. We're going to let Vincent heal another tiny bit. Yeah, there they go. Okay, now I'm going to send Vincent, who's the only one capable, to do attachment research. You don't think we've tried red on the bird? Oh, I tried red. I also feel like I tried... I think I researched attachment, and it said it was average as well. I think I'm going to actually try repression. If I had anything for repression, I don't have anyone that's good at repression, is the problem. At all. Well, you know what that means, Elisa. Everyone, salute them as they go in. We need energy. And if Elisa can pull it off, anyone can. They can't pull it off. Chat, they can't pull it off. Elisa's about to get eaten. Ah, uh, well, they were worthless to begin with. We actually, uh, just don't look. I accidentally didn't pan off the screen fast enough for them. Yeah, well, they got us two energy and pretty much destroyed the stability of our entire place. God damn it. I've spent too much money on worthless bullshit and not enough energy and points discovering what the fuck you are. <laughs> That's my B. All right. Okay, let's try this. We might have to reset. We might have to try this day again. I might, I might stick with it if we can pull this one off without restarting. But if we lose everyone, uh, I might have to reevaluate my angle here. Because I don't think I have enough energy to counteract the fact that if anything other than Skull Man gets out, we're in trouble. We need to figure out how to deal with this guy. Wait, he stopped moving. No, there he goes. I'm going to try to get him on happy face. Okay. Is that... Zero, you get out of here. I'm going to send Vincent in to do this. I'm going to try to do this guy on happy face. Vincent, stay here. Come on, get the happy face. I want you on... Vincent, stay here now. Vincent, stay here. Get the... I want him on smile. Come on. Oh, that's really big happy face. You don't want him on big happy face. Get the smile. Smile, go in. Okay. This looks good. We're using insight. He's melting Vincent's brain already. There's a meltdown. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Okay, this didn't work. Big smile, not good either. I don't understand your secrets, 0192, but alas, here's my plan for this fucking thing. Everyone ignore it, act like there's not a problem. Keep performing. Oh wait, hang on, cancel that. What's his, what's this one's specialty? What's the best thing I do against him? Uh, attachment. Okay. Well, uh, that didn't go great, chat. Good news is, my strategy to deal with the bird is to just act like it's not escaped. <laughs> just seal the doors, act like it's not there. Uh, that means all you D-class stop doing your thing. Everyone just like be hanging out, all right? Don't do anything dumb. Just hang out, play it cool. How's Vincent's health? Not good. And also simultaneously, I have no idea what your secret is, uh, 0192. Manager, 0256 has escaped. Can you send a response team? Uh, we're, uh, we're breaking up on the line. Uh, control, miss control AI. I, I'm not receiving anything on the line. I can't hear you. I can't understand what you're saying. 
I'm sorry, Gamma 1. Oh, no. Oh, God. Epsilon 5 and... Is everyone... Is anyone up here in danger? No, we're okay. No, you go downstairs. Uh, Zero, go downstairs! Zero! Zero. Go downstairs. Oh, my God. Hang on. The bird! Where's the bird? The bird's chasing the bird! Zero's gonna walk out in the bad spot, dude! Zero, you just hang out here. Bird's going back to his box, I think. That or he wants a snack of Beta Zero. Oh, he wants Eta Zero. Eta Two. Okay, where's Zero? Zero, you know what you should do, Zero? You just go back to work. Yeah, just get back to working on the one sin of hundreds of sins or whatever. And Vincent? Uh, yeah, you just go back inside your containment room. You're good. There's not a problem. <laughs> Zeta 3 is... Good. Oh god! Oh my god! Vincent's gotta get back inside the sin room with the leather mask guy. Okay, we gotta pick a good time to go in because I don't want to go in while he's mad. We'll just try to get normal face. Smile would be okay. Hang on. Wait. This will do. We have a 1 in 4 chance of getting a really good fucking roll on which one of these might be the best. Attachment. Not good, so we do not want to use attachment on him. I'm gonna try beating the shit out of this guy with instinct when he's happy, which is right now. We go in now! Kick his ass, Vincent! Be calm. Uh-oh. I fucked up. Wait, this might be okay. Well, either way, we can't be here. Where's the bird? The bird is still wandering around upstairs. I'm just gonna act like it's not a problem. He'll go home eventually. I mean, this isn't going super bad. It's going about as bad as I expected it to, which is because we don't have any knowledge of what the fuck this thing is yet, really. We're just sort of winging it. But Smile Face is at least getting us middle ground stuff. Yeah, we can work with Smile. Smile, for the most part, means he's not mad. It's in the middle. Is the bird going back to his room? Oh, Zero, you gotta get back to... You gotta get back to the skull, doing more attachment with the skull, Zero. Go back to the skull. Oh my god. <laughs> the bird's coming back. Oh. Nope. Uh, looks like the skull's about to escape, but that should be okay. Uh, Vincent, how are you going? Uh, everyone's out. Unfortunately, the bird has to go back in his cage soon. Or we're gonna have to fucking beat the shit out of him and probably get eaten in the process. Go back to your cage, Mr. Bird. Please, we can deal with the skull. We can't deal with the bird. What's wrong with Big Smile? What do you think is wrong with Big Smile? That looks awful. Okay, attachment, I don't think is was functional at all. We have enough to try to figure out what's... All of these are common, but instinct. I think instinct is... I think we need to send... Zero down here. Does the bird know how to take elevators? <gasps> we gotta send- Vincent's gotta go back inside the box! Oh, fuck! He's on lukewarm! That's fine, good enough! Zero, go back inside the box! <gasps> You're safer. Works! Works complete, I'm done. Let's see. Survival rates are sixty-seven percent. We're done. We're done. We're good. We're good. Easy. <laughs> Let someone else contain it. Let the next shift worry about the bird. Not my problem. Forget it. It's not my problem, Chad. I, I, I don't have time to worry about such meaningless bullshit. All right. It's not my problem. I'm washing my hands of death bird, uh, once and for all. Next day. I'm not gonna reset for that one character. I don't wanna hyper cheese this game uh, by resetting every day. So I'm only gonna reset if it's like a cataclysmic, like, wipe. Okay, we got a lot of guys from T09. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to Division T09, but every single one of them is now in my care. T0994, 
Many of those who underwent an operation inside the machinery have found rest and become healthy again. We could use something that helps us become healthy again. We could use... Chat, we could use something good. Yeah, let's pick the nicest sounding thing in our group here. Save us now, and forevermore the truth shall set us free. Is 0990. And 0977 is excessive aspiration will result in a frenzy. Uh, okay, so either of these two sounds... This one sounds good. Many of those who underwent an operation inside the machinery have found rest and become healthy again. I think we could use one. I don't know if I like save us now and forevermore. The truth shall set us free. Sounds like a... Sounds like... Sounds like a, a, a bad call. Fuck it. I'm gonna take 94. If, if it's not even... I, I bank on even getting something that isn't completely sentient is a good call. I'm gonna take it. Are you proud of what you do here? What was the name of the guy I lost yesterday on my watch chat? What was his name? Elisa? Was it Elisa that I lost on my watch? Devoured? No, they just, you know, they just fucking passed out and had like an aneurysm looking at the bird. They weren't ready for this. If not, this news will change your mind. After your arrival, the energy output has increased by 13%. Oh, a 13% increase is a record-breaking figure. How do you feel? I'm proud of my work. Since you came, the company is doing better. That means you're doing your job. There will be only good news. Let's not talk about Alisa. A machine doesn't flatter easily. It's good to know that you're happy. I remember your face when you first came in here. You were withdrawn, withdrawn, withdrawn. Face all grim. And was a word at my presence. <laughs> it's okay for you to be happy now. And it's a special day today. See the glass of champagne? You can't drink. You're an AI hologram. Oh, it's not someone's birthday. Or the company foundation day. You lost an employee for the first time yesterday. Oh, oh, are you curveballing me? Oh my God, she caught me in a trap. She was, she made me think that this was like a good thing, but in fact, she's toasting to the fact that I managed to willfully let someone die on my watch and not reload. <laughs> and many more will follow. I'm helping you to cope with it. I don't feel that bad. They knew the risks from the beginning. The company grows on their sacrifices. I'm sure they would feel proud of themselves in their dying breath. You should respect them. That is why we're toasting now. Cheers for the deceased to remember their noble sacrifices. Down the hedge. I will give you some tips. To properly drink a glass of champagne, lightly hold the lower stem of the glass and savor the bubbles. Yes, just like that. Uh, did I just get backseated on drinking fucking champagne? I already get enough of this shit from chat. You guys tell me how to drink water right. Like, Savor the bubbles. <laughs> what? Progression. Let's level up control team again. I don't even know what that does. I think it's just story progression, like directions for the story. So I got two more levels of control team, which by the way, shit's not going great. Uh, we got three lob points. Here's my plan, chat. I'm gonna give both of these boys a nice, solid, pile of weaponry. Vincent, get yourself a Zane Penitence Hammer. There we go. Same with you, Zero. Finally, we have weapons that can slay monsters of the dark. And our suit is currently equipped by Vincent, but I'm going to switch it to Zero because Zero is like our security guard at this point. They've got all the fortitude and health. Uh, all right. Back, back out. Uh, we need to hire one person. We need to like 
we need a, t a throwaway jackass we can toss into our new enclosure to make sure it's good for our actual employees to hang out in. So I'm gonna spend one LOB to get you, Asera. Congratulations, welcome to the company. And with the rest of my money, uh, I'm going to reinforce Vincent here in an additional tier of prudence. Because big brain power seems to help a lot. Okay. I hope Vincent doesn't die either. He seems- they're like our best fucking person. They're really carrying the job. Okay, well, uh, let's go on in. Oh, thank God, it's just a machine. All right. Vincent, this is all insight, man. Oh, wait a minute. Chat, we just use it. This is actually just a healing machine. We, uh, we, we just get to work with the same shit we already have, dude. All right, let's send someone to test it out. <laughs> you know what your purpose was all along, Asera. You get in there. And the rest of you, um... How much we need... I, we have so much research for fucking Skullboy. But we've already unlocked everything for Skullboy. I mean, I guess I could spend some PE boxes manufacturing more suits and weapons. That's all I can really do is spend more of his boxes to make his custom weapons. And then... Oh man, I don't... Is the bird off its perch? It's floating. Okay, well... Uh, we already know that the bird is our best income. So let's just... Send old... Vincent over there to do some more insight work. This guy works best with brutality. We know that from process of elimination, I think. And we want to catch him at smile or, like, normal face. So we can send Ciro to do that. And we'll just watch as he goes and hope that, uh, and stop him if it reaches the point where he's that angry face before he gets there. Why not big smile? Never big smile. I'll never let anyone go in during big smile. That's murder face. How's stuff going over here? Not good ever. Bird never does well. Uh, surgery. Asera just got a yes. I'm not sure what that means from the machine. Okay, where's, uh... Okay, Ciro. Cancel the order. You stay here for a sec. You know what? I ain't scared of nothing. I'm sending us in to brutally fucking battle this guy on Big Smile. Let's go. I can't believe people die this easily. Says Ciro. I ain't afraid of Big Smile. Maybe that's actually the safest one. Chat, what if it is the safest one? Oh my god! Yo! Yo! Power! Okay, how's it going uh, up at Bird's Zone? Not great. But we got- we got research at least. We're good! Chat! Vincent can go to the machine now. While Ciro apparently makes us all of our new energy in the machine. Oh my god! This is great! Who would have thought that Big Smile was the best one? Dude, he's barely even fought back. He's just smiling and smiling. All right, that's four. That's so good. We got 10. We got 13 research off of that. We can actually like learn about it. Okay, if we get escape information, we can start crafting weapons to murder it in the case that it ever escapes. Uh, but I would at least like to confirm that instinct is the safest bet for him. It's actually not. Pretty much anything is safe with this guy. All right, so we can just literally send whoever we want for this one with the highest stats and just go from there. Yeah. Okay, so it's only the face. We just have to get it at level one, big smile. And then whoever is just available with the highest stats currently can do it. Uh, I'm gonna save the rest of my stuff and not unlock a bunch of tips that I really don't think I need. I'll get one more tip. No special features were detected in phase three. Under phase two, the success rate of employees' work increased 
and employees' SP recovered slightly every time the work was a success. Oh, so maybe it's like, maybe each one actually does have different impacts, and it's not, and it's just coincidental that I su succeeded on that last one. Okay. When work was performed with phase four, this increased the damage dealt to the employee by 1.5, and the work success rate was declined. When work was performed with phase five, this doubled damage dealt. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait to get that from the machine, from uh, from our from our face friend. I've gotten you a gift for being so kind to me. Big smile. When work was performed with phase one, this reduced the damage dealt to the employee by 1.5 and the work success rate was increased. In addition, okay, so we actually just do want to use one. One is the 100% the best face, so we just want big smile all the time. So we can send someone straight back there. We can actually send Sira right back in, I think. So, uh, let's see how this is working. No, yes, no. What do you mean, no, yes? Chat? What does it mean, no or yes? No? No? It just gave a no to Vincent. What does that mean? It just decreased all of Vincent's stats. Okay. Well? Well? Where's, uh... Oh, he's at Big Smile right now. It's time. Go. Continue your work, Zero. Master the machine. Also, something's about to escape captivity. Uh, only one I'm concerned about is the bird who's looking at me as if it's going to kill me. Uh, as if it's seeing straight through my soul. Um, I don't have enough research to perform a plan. Alright, we do know one thing about this bird now, chat. We don't go in here and try to repress the sin bird. We don't go in and repress sin bird. Sin bird does not want the weak to repress it. It wants to feed. So is insight actually the best call? Yeah, we want to use insight. So that's Vincent's, this is Vincent's gig. Bird zone. Unfortunately, there's no way I can send Vincent back in there half dead uh, with the machine killing him. Oh my god. That was so bad. Oh man. Oh man. That's gonna fuck with our success rate. I feel like I have to send you back in, Vincent. Either way, this is going great. Zero can like win the whole game like this. We need so much energy though. We might lose someone. We're fighting off a monster today. It's possible. We're gonna have a meltdown any second now. Is the machine bad? It's random chance, but I'm curious to see if I can get a yes. It, like, I just have to use it for a certain amount of time, I think, to learn about it. Alright, that was awesome. Zero can go right back in, I think, once it's ready. Because this could win the whole game for us, like, right off the bat. We might even be able to finish it before there's a meltdown escape. Because my method for most meltdown escapes is just to sort of act like there's not a problem. Oh, alright. Vincent got a yes that time. So their stats are fixed. So they can go back up to the bird now. And do an insight check. Okay. And while that's happening... Uh, you go back to Big Smile. Go back to Big Smile, my friend. I'd like to learn more about him. Good day today. Are you still shy today? One sunny day, when she was carefully drying the laundry in the yard, sadness became... Sadness came suddenly. In our city, we must hold sacrificing for the city, for the company, at a very high value. There is no reason you should cry. Rather, we should rejoice. What's that on your face? This city does not encourage that kind of expression. My goodness, why are you making that face? You'll make others sad as well. Please be more considerate. You don't live alone in this world. You are not good at expressing your feelings. You must be shy. You should look more pleased. 
That way those living in the outskirts will be more envious of us. Put a bigger smile on your face. Come on, it's not that hard. Express yourself more clearly. Expressing yourself is very important in this society. On another sunny day, she dried her own skin delicately, just like she once dried her laundry. She smiled broadly to make everyone satisfied. If she meets people who ask what's wrong, she responds by saying, I'm just shy, that's all, just shy. Oh, she's, she doesn't have any skin. She cut off all of her skin to make a skin body. Okay, well, uh, be happy right now, big happy. How's bird room going? We don't know yet. Come on, be happy. I want a big smile on that shy face. <laughs> oh, they're about to escape. Not on my watch. Try escaping when I'm observing you. So chat, uh, I just realized, and I guess I didn't realize this during the tutorial, you can actually stop an escape if you just go in there and talk to them and do a treatment. So, uh, that was lucky. We're good. Uh, Bird is still doing its thing. It's levitating and like jamming out to music or something. How many know about Little Bird's disgusting flesh that divides into several parts? Probably not many. Probably not many at all know about how it devoured one of our employees. Can you learn her info? Uh, I, that's so many points. That's so many points. Chat. But you know what? Yeah. Shy look today. It's a teth. Uh, so that at least gives us its attack type so we know what's weak against if it escapes. Wait, is that how it works, chat? Is it? Is it a... Uh, oh, that's a skin gun, huh? Is that how it works? Do you, con do you counter it with the, with the exact one that it has? Right? I can't remember what it's how, how you tell what it's weak against. Teth is its tier. Oh, so you use... So you use blue damage? The attack type is a damage it deals while there. The counter is in the escape information. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need armor that can defend against black. Okay. Sorry, I was just confused because I haven't I haven't played much of this game yet, to be honest. Uh, okay, well, we can make skin guns now uh, with enough PE boxes from it. That's 25 to make one. But hey, that's a ranged weapon. Tell you what we're going to use that to defend against. This little shit. Little bird bastard. Doing his thing. That was another bad research, but hey. It's something. We do one more research, we'll be able to tell what this bird's up to. What its secrets are. I've been neglecting the sin boy. We could probably send someone... We could, let's give Vincent a break. Do a freebie on the sin boy with half health. Because the bird doesn't... Sin boy doesn't really hurt. He doesn't do anything that bad to people. Let Vincent chill out. Wait. Cancel. It isn't insight. It's fucking attachment. I forgot. So we still want Vincent to do it, but it's attachment. Uh, bad start for attachment, but it's okay. All right, Ciro, we send right back in when he's back on Big Smile. And that should beat the game. All this round. Okay, Skull's doing fine. Go, Zero. I'm so afraid of the one time this piece of shit in here is like, surprise. I was mad the whole time today. Okay, big smile on that one. How's, uh, can anyone else go right back in? Let's send, uh, a Sarah, our new recruit in while we finish up over here. Chat, an easy day. No one got out. No one escaped. We even got to deal with the bird a little bit, and the bird didn't manage to kill anyone else. Uh, I'd send more people to the machine if it wasn't a literal coin flip. I think I just have to spend enough time using it 
to learn about it. Uh, which is why I'll probably have a Sarah go in there about 80,000 times on loop over the next couple days. But we're done. I'm gonna get the last little bit of energy. Actually, can I con I can continue to stay in here until there's a meltdown, right? I don't have to end my day today. I could get some more discoveries done and get some more research done, even though the day's still running. I might. Because, uh... That would be pretty good. I might send us in one more time for the bird. I know what you're thinking, chat. The bird? I accidentally just bought that while clicking. Uh, not great shit. Now I definitely need to do the bird again, because I just accidentally did that. Fuck! Alright, we gotta send Vincent back in to do insight on it. Uh, now that our health is back. I, we, I wanna unlock something from the bird. Didn't the meltdown make you lose points? Yeah, but I think in the event of a meltdown, I can adjust to any... My leftover guys can adjust to anything. Like, I keep zeros down here. Yeah, like stall guys breaking out. That's not hard for someone to deal with, you know? That's just sending a Sarah back over to stop the meltdown. And during that time, I can send us back in to do another cycle of, uh, Shy Man. Oh, oh no! Huh, 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 huh. He tried to do one on me. He tried to do a bamboozle. Did you see that quick switch? How's Bird doing? Bird's doing better. We're doing better at the bird every time. I just don't want Vincent to magically die. Come on, give me one more big smile on Skin Lady. Come on. Stay here, Zero. Big smile. Now, it's time. I commit to it. Whew. Okay. Another bad research, but that means, chat, we officially have enough to discover what the fuck this thing is. Okay. So, this is the Punishing Bird chat um it's just called the punishing bird i don't know why it's full of so much hate in its heart why it wants to kill so many why does it punish us it devours everything it sees it desires only blood only blood. Hang on. I've neglected notifications for like the last like 20 minutes. Give me a second here. Frontal420, thank you for the prime. Lord Repta, thank you for the two months. I got gifted a sub back when you did your Fallout New Vegas streams. I'm happy to be finally able to return the favor. Love you, tomato boy. Hey, thanks. Quarin103, thanks for the two months. I was also gifted a sub at some point, but I have become addicted to these emotes. They're real, real good, right, chat? Thank you. Scorch0, thank you for the eight months. Eight months cop. You misspelled clap, Scorched. I'm sorry to say. Uh, Rue listening. Thank you for the two months. Sacrifice more vessels to the bird. Yes. Galander, seven months. Thanks for being the quintessential gamer. Sleepy person too. Two months prime. Yay is all they say. Yay. Bobcat885, eight, eight, eight months. How's it hanging, tomato? I say as I miss a high five. Hit me instead. Oh, you fucking asshole. I'm going to ban you. And then I ban them. <laughs> Thanks, Bobcat. Nillion one. Thanks for the 33 months. I missed the beginning of this stream. Thank goodness for VODs. You missed a tutorial. Neuros91, two months time to revise containment procedures. Yeah, people break out of this place fast, gang. It's like really easy for people to break out of these containment things. It's like at the actual SCP game or something. AB Joe, thanks for the two months. Tomato, you son of a bitch, you got me. Ever since the gifted sub, I've lost all my moisture. Sorry. Vox Nile 99 thanks for the seven months. Hey, Tomato Lad, I haven't caught a stream live all summer because I started working a night shift uh, summer job. So I'm glad to catch this one. I'm excited to resume my tomato watching in college. Here's to many more sub -aversaries. Word on that, brother. Biddy Box, thanks for the six months. Vox Nile thanks for also gifting another sub. Uh, 
Adjek, thank you for the Prime. Words here, four months, thank you. Luna Fry, Prime. T-Zona, two months Prime. Hey, manager, please don't send me to the bird. I don't want to go to Punishing Bird. You don't get a choice. Last DJ DL, five months, thank you. All right, let's roll. And uh, we're good. I'm going to end the day now. Uh, actually, if I could, I'm going to let them finish this one. Unless we are about to die. If it starts looking bad, uh, I will end the workday before we get fucked. But ideally, I want to construct an item before we end the day so someone can actually equip it. Because it's 25. So if we end this cycle, uh, we can make a skin gun. Chat. Which will be some good shit. Understand? The skin gun? You know what I mean? Okay. Are you serious? Oh no, it's good. Alright. I'm gonna make one skin gun, chat. Read... Read skin birds... Read punishing birds lore. Ah, it's updated because we discovered his information. A little confident bird that punishes the weak, the sinners and other profane ones. Some employees stated that it looks fairly cute after seeing its small wings flapping. People have been committing sins since a long time ago. Why do they commit such a thing, even when they know that it is a bad? A little bird wondered. It must be because they don't have someone that punishes the bad people. Foul things will never happen and I take the role myself and stop the bad. The little bird moved out of the forest that it had been living in for a lifetime, and it never went back. Maybe, maybe I kill all the sinners. Maybe I devour them for being the bad. I will be the punisher. I am a vigilante protecting the weak and innocent. Okay, well, uh, I've made, I've made skin gun. So that's something someone can bring in later, which is uh, black type damage. Which I wonder how good it is against certain guys. Like, how do I see his weakness? Oh, I won't even know unless he's escaped to test. I see. So we can't even tell what's going to be good against any of them. Unless we've come at them with something already and seen if it works. Or does he have no weaknesses because he can't escape? Oh, he can't escape. Oh, I see. Okay. So I can buy it. All right. Uh, all right. Here's the last thing I'm going to do before I wrap up today. Uh, Sarah, I'm sending you on a fucking one-way trip to machine hell to go on 40,000 cycles of the machine. Until such time as we've learned its purpose. I wish you luck. Let me know how you come out. Here we go. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. How do I know when this starts progressing to like higher levels of understanding? You must be happy. Sir, are you happy? Uh-oh. That's gonna be a no. Sir, get back in there. You better be happy this time, Sir. So this is the machine you must be happy. Big no on that one. Okay, Sarah, uh, still isn't happy. Get back in there until you're happy. Or does it never change? Come on, be happy. Hang on, I got new research on it. This machine was designed to lift back the skull and destroy nerve tissue safely and efficiently. The amount of rising stats become higher the longer the machinery is used. Okay. Uh, Sarah, get back in there until you're fucking happy or dead. All right, because this is like free work right now. We got a lot. Of, we got a lot of time to test you. Uh, Sarah. She's frivolous. That must count for something. She's been in the, she's been in there a while now. What are they doing to their brain? Long time. She's been in there. Oh. 
be sure to stop the machinery only when yes is displayed at the top. Uh, if usage is stopped while in the no state, all stats will drop as much as they increased. I see now. I could proudly tell people now that I have joined the wing, says Asira, limping because her brain was deleted by the machine. Okay, so I have to time this. Good day. Pretty solid work day uh, for our two actual employees. Of course, Sarah, um, the one that we spent one point on exclusively to test out machines, died. Uh, they got ripped apart. Um. Whew. Survival rate of 67 is always good. The machine automatically stops when you pause, so watch out. Yeah, I've seen that. I pressed cancel order that time, so maybe if I press cancel order, it actually destroys them. We'll never know. Osera is dead dead. Uh, they got essentially peeled. So is their workers comp? Their families think they're working at a subway. That No one knows where any of these people are. They just disappear. The founder said this to me several times. Each successful experiment makes you a better person. Tell me about it. Hey, hey, do you email her family or do I have to? The company became great after repeated failures and difficulties. So will you. Every day in the company is a step towards greatness. How was your day? Of course it was fine. Let's spare the pleasantries. It was. Manager, how has your life been? Horrible, okay, or not good. I'm gonna be real with you, Angela. It's been not good. I can't see the color of your life as you perceive. While I can't console you by saying, that's not true, many things will change. That much is clear. It's a cheap metaphor, but a tree doesn't just grow anywhere. It requires fertile soil, right temperature, and water. Most seeds end up on barren soil. For them, root... Rooting and sprouting small leaves are a challenge full of pain. I can't provide you with water or light, but I will do my best to tend to the soil. Okay. You did your job perfectly again. I was the control AI all along. My name is Malkuth. I have a lot of work to do. My to-do list is always full, but I know I can do it just a little more and... I'm slower than the others. I always check the list or I miss something important, but that's why I have this notebook on me all the time. Well, it's almost worn out. It has always been with me since I began working here in the control team. I know Angela worries about me sometimes, but I am totally in control. I think I was born for this job, you know. It would be fine if I'm not working for the control team, as long as the job is similar. Malkoth, please finish the report I asked by today. Sure thing, boss. I have it on my list. I will return, I will turn in the report by today. Well, I should go now. It was a pleasure talking to you. Good talk. The AI's here, they are unstable, except for me. Wait, were they about to go like ape shit on me and fucking rip my face off? Angela, what was that? She got all weird once she started talking about not working in control anymore. Malkuth is the worst, haven't you noticed? God. I can't complain as she is easy to control, though. As you may know, this facility isn't that stable. We were only able to contain abnormalities in containment units because we momentarily released their suppressed power before the work began. However, the suppression becomes unstable as time goes by and eventually some abnormalities go into a meltdown. Okay. I would like to expand control team. Okay. Well, we have to hire new meat. I mean, people. Uh, to the society. Okay. Control team research. Wait, what is this? Oh, we, can, we finally have research. Able to give work order between different departments. Summon scattered employees to their departments. Provide beepers to employees to have them return to their departments. Our joint command enables you to give cross-divisional work orders between departments. 
I don't understand either of these because I don't think I'm far enough into the game to know what they are. Uh, being able to summon my boys uh, is something I can use now. Joint command is something I'd only have once I have more divisions. I'll take joint command for the future. Okay, so I know how to do this. I don't need more stats yet. What I do need is another sucker. Brown, you'll do. I'm going to buff your temperance, Brown, by one. Get in here. Welcome to the team. You're going to do just fine, Brown. Oh, hang on. Okay. Brown? Get yourself a Zayin. Brown. And an Ego Suit. All of you get one of the nice Zayin Penitence Ego Suits. Zero. I want you. No, Vincent. I want you to be carrying Flesh Gun. Okay? Vincent will wield our most powerful weapon. The Flesh Gun. Which we will use to shoot the bird from a range in the off chance that the bird escapes. Understand? Is everyone on... Is everyone on the same page? I think we're good. Let's go. We need 80 research today. We know how to deal with everything. Brown has good temperance, which doesn't really help anything, truth be told. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Brown uh, use attachment on our, uh, on our good once in a hundred good deeds boy. And they'll just do that on repeat safely. Uh, Vincent is gonna do bird duty with flesh gun as defense. And uh, old Ciro is going to go back on down to Shy Look today because they have the highest stats and they're going to benefit the most from using Shy Look today. I don't like sending anyone into Punishment Bird, if I'm going to be real. Uh, I don't understand why he feels so compelled to punish everything. All the time. But hey, you know... You know... Whatever. You know what I mean? It's just a pun. It's just a bird. Is it on big smile yet? Zero, make sure it's on big smile before you go in there. That's Matt. I right, we wait here. Zero, get back here. Come on, be on big smile. How's bird doing? Why do I even use this fucking containment cell? Like it's always bad. Nothing ever good comes from. Using the bird. Nothing ever comes from using the bird. Like, ever. It's always middle of the road. All these fucking D-class personnel walking around like they own the place. Get on big smile. Alright, that was an average run. We can keep doing Punishing Bird. We just need to make sure that um, we give whoever's doing it like a good break after or they don't heal. Any minute now. There we go. Initiate brutal protocol. Instinct level four. The strongest warrior we have, Zero. Okay. How are you doing, Vincent, after the accident? After what happened? Not good. They're half dead from that. So we have to let Vincent take a short break. Go loiter in, uh, go loiter in this lovely zone. How's, uh, how, how'd our new, new recruit do on one sin? Good? Looks like they did good, so they're going back in. Brown's going back in to do more shit with the one sin and hundreds of good deeds. And we're gonna hope that Vincent is healed up in time to talk to the bird in the event that it starts to escape. I'm not gonna lie, stuff's not going great with Zero somehow. Uh, this time around on shy look today who's breaking out you must be happy okay what are you gonna do about it bitch <laughs> wait what are you gonna do wait what's it gonna do 
I'm gonna act like there's not a problem. Because I'm not sure what it's going to do. I'm gonna ignore it. There's not a problem. Vincent, are you good to go back into the punishing bird? No. Super not good. Well, uh, on the off chance that it is going to go ape shit, we'll just move Vincent downstairs to shoot the machine? I guess. I mean, we could just send someone in, I guess. Where's, uh, where's Brown? Brown? It's time to improve yourself, Brown. Get down there, stat. Faster, Brown! Oh my god. Hang on. Drains energy. At tomato, it just drains energy. Hang on, pal. I got you. I got you. Chat, don't at me. Literally telling me what it does. Or you will never come back here again. Hi, yes, it's me. I'd like to spoil what the mystery monsters in this game do for you. Uh, decreasing all of the mystery of the thing. Oh no. Oh, it did its thing. It's actually moving. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot I actually told this person. Wow, did I actually do it in time? I don't know. Well, Brown. Uh, I'm gonna leave it up to fate what happens to you, Brown. Vincent must be ready to go back into Punishment Bird at this point. Right? Mm. No, Vincent's still not ready. That's a no. I tried. I tried so hard. Alright. Ciro should be good to go back into this guy. Whenever he's on happy face. At least they didn't explode. Yeah, we didn't tell them what they did to the last guy. Come on. Come on, be happy. Big happy. I want... I got you a... I got you a snack today. I got you one of your favorites. I got you a box of Oreos. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright. I didn't actually get them any Oreos. Why would I? They're a freak. I'm merely using them for energy. Okay, fix it. How are you feeling? Tell you what we can do while we're waiting around for this. Brown can totally do another round of um, the sin box, even while uh, shitty. Stat wise. Wow, they got really shitty stat wise. Brown will be fine. What's the worst the fucking skull can do? Judge him for his sins? Alright, shy look today is, um. I'm gonna learn about their escape. Uh, uh, on the off chance they do escape one of these days. Uh. Oh, they can't escape either. They can't escape. Oh, the only thing in our entire place that can actually fuck us up is the bird chat. We just have to prepare for the bird. The bird is our danger object. Looks like shy. Looks like shy monster can't escape. Skin suit though, for thirty energy. Sir, are you ready to go back in? I'm sending you back in. Ah! Oh, fuck you! It'll be fine. Zero's gonna be fine. She's incredibly talented. She's practiced for years to handle this. To handle dangers like this, Sierra's not getting much, uh, energy on this one. How are you doing? Uh, oh, uh-oh. Everyone stay away from Sierra. 
for a little bit. Let him calm down. Yo, Brown. Uh, go back inside Skull Box, okay, before they get here. I said get back inside the box! Cryfloth meltdown. It's the bird. That's fine. Vincent's ready for the bird. You didn't promise Oreos. I didn't think they'd remember that I didn't get them Oreos last time, okay? We'll just let them get it out of their system by killing D-Class, okay? Like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? We'll just ignore it. I gotta send Vincent to deal with the bird. Vincent should be okay. I don't think they'll die. Okay, hey, I mean, Skull's on big smile. Skull's having a good fucking time. We'll manufacture every part of his material that we can for new recruits. Wow, yeah. Zero's literally killing them all. I'm glad I didn't give them the gun at this point. Brown's just taking a walk. <laughs> Perhaps we can be friend abnormalities, says Brown. Stomping on a corpse uh, while everyone else is screaming and crying. Maybe we can all be friends. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and send Brown right back in to the old guy, uh, the old skull man. How's the bird going? Well, the bird's going really well today. Well, uh, spoke too soon, but uh, well enough. I can't believe how bad Shy looked today. How's, uh, how are you doing? You don't wanna die alone? You're not gonna die, you got out. You're good. Zero. Stop chasing Epsilon 4. They're like, outrunning you. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Zero's actually faster. Okay. How's uh, Vincent doing now? Vincent can't go back in yet. This is all down to Brown in Skull Zone. Vincent, can you hang out like... Yeah, up here. Like, far away. Brown, you go right back in to the Skull. As soon as it's ready. Okay. Chat, we're just gonna act like there's not... A rampage, yeah? Sound good? We're gonna act like Ciro isn't doing it. And we're gonna see if that means I can get away with keeping them once the once the day's done. Cause this might we might be done once we do two more researches before there's another meltdown. I think it does wear off, because this skull talks about panicking employees being unpanicked eventually. I'm just not sure how it initiates. I might send Vincent down to do the skull in Brown's place, because if they do a perfect one, I think that does it. I remember that being a thing. So you go, you get out of here, Brown. Uh, actually, Brown, you stay right here for a minute while, while the nightmare continues. God, Zero, I shouldn't have made them my strongest warrior. I'm fucking sorry. I'm fucking sorry. What? <laughs> the bird's out, dude. They might run into each other. Oh! I'm the only person with a gun's doing research! <laughs> I can't even imagine the experience the manager might have had to be where he is now, says Brown. Oh! Zero's fighting the bird! Oh! Yeah, the bird is completely defending against Zero's swings. Day's done. Yeah. Oh, Zero died magically somehow. Chad, I have to reset this day. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this one uh, without letting Zero go crazy. Because Ciro's actually quite high stats. I don't want to lose them. I do know one thing, though. Um, this time, let's be extra careful to not fuck up. Smile. That's it. 
Let's just not fuck it up. Yeah? What do you think? I'm thinking that's the best thing we can do. We'll just definitely not mess it up. Smile. Okay. Zero's here. Wait for it to get the big smile. I'd almost be happy taking that one if it means I don't get super mad face. <laughs> Please. Please. Don't! We're good. We're good. We're just gonna check its nutrition. Make sure it's all good to go. Bird's going well today. Much better than usual. Skull Man, also going well. This is a good day, chat. We got, we got some good research going. I'm gonna ignore you must be happy completely. Big smiles. Big smiles from all SCPs. They're happy today. Big smiles. We're gonna send someone right back in. We're gonna keep sending Brown in on loop for that one. How's Vincent's health uh, after... Vincent's good. Vincent can go right back in. This time. Shy look today is almost a perfect investigation. Perfect. A flawless energy chart. Oh. So you must be happy. We're just gonna ignore that one. I don't want to lose stats. Like, losing stats is so much worse. I'll just let it melt down and take some energy. Because we can adjust- we can address any escaping monster. Oh my god, the fucking- I regret ever taking the bird. I regret ever taking the bird. I'm gonna be real. Oh, he's on big smile again. Do I have time? Do- chat- do I have time to send Zero back in before this asshole switches to really mad face? I think this is a trap. I'm gonna let him switch. Ah! Oh, caught ya! Little- little bitch. Come on. Ha! No! I'm in! Gotcha! Gotcha! Haven't had another good bird run. Gonna send Skull back in. Gonna ignore you must be happy, because we're already almost done with the day, because we've done so well on everything else. I'm gonna send Vincent right back in, because they haven't gotten hit. I just realized Vincent isn't carrying their gun. I don't know if they're carrying it, if they have it equipped. That scares me. It's happening. Meltdown level two. Shy look today is gonna try to get out. We gotta send Zero back in right away. I'm also gonna make my skin suit. Once I've rediscovered it. Birthday's going well. Uh, it's gonna make all that gear again. Okay, so the meltdown's happening. He's on big smile right now. I don't trust it. I gotta wait. Yep. Sierra, walk back. Stay here. Big smile right now. Nope. Stop. Sierra, I need you to. S they like loiter the room. So it's really inconsistent. I could have totally gotten it. It's really inconsistent if you can get away with putting someone in. Like, the room. Oh, we got something we can get for Bird. I don't need his gun. I don't need his suit. I need to know how you die. He's just vulnerable to everything. Okay. We will shoot him then. We'll shoot him with our skin guns. He can be killed. He can be beaten, chat. He's just a bird. He's not! You guys don't fucking- Half of you guys that are saying he's just a bird. You guys didn't see. When his gaping chest mouth devoured one of our employees in one fucking hit. Chat. You have no idea. Literally crushed the employee's body. His jaw went flying like there was... 
That's a mouth. You don't see it. That's the blood. The mouth is hidden. That's blood. Scared of birds. Shut up! None of you saw it. I saw it all. Get happy. It's time. Let's save this the facility. Okay. No one's escaping on my watch. Understand? Let's get that out of the way. And well, thank you for resubscribing for eight months. Dead boy, thank you for the hundred bits. I remember when the bird went and redacted that guy's face off. No, what you really wanted to say was, I remember when redacted, 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 the redacted, redacted, redacted. I'm gonna do one more cycle of the bird, if Vincent's, if Vincent can, because we've had a lot of really good luck today, and I wouldn't mind getting a bird gun. Uh, the more guns we have, I think the better off we're gonna be. Either way, uh, we should be done with this day after Brown does one last cycle of the skull. All right, let's just ask the bird how it's doing. Uh, another normal investigation of the bird. Big happy day for Shy Boy. Uh, let's make a skin suit if we can f squeeze one more investigation in before we end the day. Come on, come on, do it, do it, you little. Gotcha. <laughs> Talk about an idiot. Gotcha. All right, birthday's going well. We have enough to make the ego bird suit. Uh, we can endure. This is this is bird defense. This is literally the. This is how we defend against the bird is getting its suit, because that reduces its. It does red damage. It just attacks. So we will just equip. We'll just make a bird armor for whoever is in melee. Uh, Ciro. We'll give Ciro bird armor to protect against the bird. And we'll make a skin suit right now, which is also good against the bird. Chat, we're finally doing it. Wearing full body armor just for a bird? You don't understand, dude. You guys are all so fucking stupid. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck all of y'all, all right? I saw my employees explode. That's not any bird over there, chat. That's the punishing bird. It left its home in the forest to punish criminals and those with sin in their hearts. And let's be honest, we've all done some sinful shit in our time on earth. This one time, this one time I didn't have enough money to tip a waiter. I, 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 I apologize. I didn't have the money. I thought I had the money and I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. I'm coming out and I'm saying it. I didn't have any. I had. They only took cash. They curveballed me. I thought they'd take credit cards at the fucking store. The restaurant, they didn't. They only took cash. They were like a fucking random, like, family store. They didn't have their cash register. Like, the credit card shit was out that day. They only, had, they only took cash. And I didn't have enough for them. All right. So I'm a little bit afraid of that bird flying up to my window, flying into my office, and devouring my face off. Next day. Day six. I got something new uh, on our hands. The more blood it has, the more beautiful it is. She was so talkative before. In the end, loneliness was the only listener that's a lonely person. You see a singing in front of your eyes. You see a singing. All right, chat, we have the entity known as song in a box. We've captured the concept of song and we've put it in a box. The one and only song. All right, what are we thinking? 60, 12, or 100. 100 is uh, blood for the blood god. Uh, 12 is lonely person. 60 is singing. Blood god? We have a lot of people that are good at brutality. Uh, I think we could handle 100. As you know, there are a lot of employees working for the company. Most of them want to know more about you. 
Some will show initiative and approach you first. It's funny. Knowing you in, pers in person doesn't improve the odds. There are no regulations that prevent you from interacting with them in person. It seems the one who made the rules didn't consider situations like this. It is a good opportunity for you to show them that you care before you send them into punishment bird's room. Words travel faster than you might think. I am not going to stop someone from reaching you. But you don't have to do anything, everything they want. Just thank them for their effort and tell them you wish they would keep up the good work. That's a win-win, don't you think? Are you following me? What the what they, we, need is a gesture of goodwill, nothing more. Don't go overboard. Give them a vending machine and they will demand a bar. I expect you to make the right decision. Alright. Information team. I am in charge of information team. Would you like to open the team before starting the day? Yeah. Information team. Uh, all right. We have a new squad that manages new SCPs. We have to hire new employees now. We got a bunch of law points to do it. I like our employee team for control team is actually good. Uh, I don't think they need anything other than me giving one, giving zero here specifically the means to defend the, against the bird with beak armor so zero is gonna get beak armor to protect against the bird that's all we need from them now let's start organizing the new team we've got one scp we don't understand what it is uh let's Hire our first new employee who will obviously be getting a weapon. <laughs> We're gonna need a weapon to give them. Fortunately, we have a lot of spares. We have Odily. Uh, let's just make let's make someone that's like tough. I'm thinking two employees, one that's like average and one that has good stats all around for the first day. So Odalie will be our new, like, ace champion of information team. That's how we did it last time, and it worked pretty well. So we're really just going to give this guy everything. All right. And now we're going to hire one more chump. And we're going to give them one fortitude. This is Mirabelle. Okay. Ego list. Let's give... Odily. A hammer. And the teeth suit. To protect them from the blood god, which I'm gonna assume is gonna hit with red damage. Alright, well, everyone should be wearing penitence at the very least, so um Mirabelle needs to be wearing that suit. It's protection, it's better than a normal outfit. And everyone might as well be carrying. Yeah, white damage. Unless this thing is good against white damage. Who knows? Uh, we won't know until we've done research on it, of course. But what are the odds of it escaping? Come on, day six, let's go. Oh. Okay, so we can still manage the other floor. But uh, this is the blood tree? Alright, so we've got a blood tree. Looks like there's something trying to crawl out of it. I'm thinking since I got the order that lets me send anyone anywhere the best person to go to blood tree hey what the fuck dude brown got the fucking hat dude that's actually really cool the abnormality gave brown the thorn crown as a gift which means they have plus two sp and have a plus 10 percent success rate against this uh, or abnormality meaning brown whether you like it or not you live here Congratulations. Okay, so I can send anyone to this spot. So here's what I'm gonna do uh, as a safety measure for this first mission. I am going to send our super maximum kill machine, Zero, to use instinct on blood tree. 
I'm gonna send them all the way down because I got the order that lets me do that. So pretty much we can send anyone anywhere because of my talents. We're gonna send them right there. We're gonna send good old Vincent down to Shy Look today. And we're gonna send Bird to hell. We're never going to Bird again. No one goes to Bird. No one. No one. No one. You guys loiter here until something bad happens. We don't go to Bird. It's just a bird. It's not! It's not just a bird! Fuck all of you! All right, let's see what happens over here. Let's just not get careless. Okay, the blood tree is, um... Winning. Thoroughly, right now. Zero, you're our strongest brutality monster in the group. Please don't go crazy. Zero. This is a bad omen. We might have to reset pretty early if this gets any worse. Go! Push! One more! One more, Zero! Yes, one more! Okay, we're good. Alright, so... We know one thing. We're never using instinct again. So now that we know that, it's time to send in one of our new boys, Odely, in as soon as it's ready for another smooth cycle of um, anything other than that. Let's try insight on Odalie. We gotta know what this thing is. Actually, wait. Smarter move is um, to actually just pre-check insight. Okay, so we'll do one that isn't insight. We'll do repression. No, we'll do attachment. Why is he so afraid of a tiny bird? Shut the fuck up! You moron! You Fucking idiot. You don't understand anything about anything. You have no idea what the bird could do. You're a fool. I understand. It's time. Vincent, do your thing. Do your thing. Okay, uh, let's see how attachment goes. Better than the last one. Be yeah, much better. Okay, so attachment is better. Not great, but better. A little bit faster, a little bit safer. We're not melting doing this. We're not being actively crushed by the speed of it. It's at least neck and neck. Uh, you must be happy. We could send uh, Mirabelle to you must be happy because they look like they're not happy. And they're lazy. They're not doing much. Mirabelle... Get in there and fucking bloat the time of this thing to full. That's your new purpose. I'm gonna send, uh... Someone to do another attachment thing. I'm gonna send Brown to do more attachment study. We keep someone on standby up here to do bird research on the off chance the bird tries to escape in the next 10 seconds. Man, this tree's a little bitch, huh? Okay, well, uh, let's look up tips. Hang on, what even is this thing? A tree standing in the middle of the containment chamber, it never withers even if it is not given any nutrients. Some employees take rest next to this tree. What? Why would you want to rest next to that? Whatever. Okay. What, is, what did the tip say? When the work result was good, Quiveloff counter was decreased. Okay. When employee Susan panics in the containment room, Quiveloff counter will be reduced. When Quiveloff counter reached zero, some random employees in the facility moved to 04100's containment unit. This status is designated as captivated. That's not good. At all. Meltdown. Who is it? Okay, it's, you must be happy. We're already sending someone there, so that's okay. Vincent is going to be going straight back in. This is way too inefficient. Why do these dangerous beings need to be managed by humans? Says Vincent, about to go back into fucking happy room with the leather-faced man. Skinless lady. Go on now. It's time. Vincent. Get in there! Don't let it get mad! Okay. And you. I don't think- I think if I stop it early, it blows them up. So I gotta wait for it to speed up to maximum and then just get lucky with Mirabelle? But their purpose is really just to sit there until we run up the clock to maximum. So Mirabelle, you are possibly going to explode and die, but that's not my problem. Uh, I think we got to send 
someone else into the into the robot. Have we done repression? Oh, did it work? Yeah, they got a buff. Well, they got a sort of buff. Their temperance was buffed. Their fortitude was reduced by 22 health. Or is that their outfit that buffed them? I'm not sure. Whatever, you're, you're nothing but a... Hang on, what just happened? You must have made sacrifices to collect half of the energy. Do not let the sacrifices be in vain. The only person we've sacrificed is some of Mirabelle's life force. I'm gonna send Mirabelle back in. Essentially, Mirabelle's purpose for the rest of the day is to run the clock on this thing until we understand everything about it. And as soon as this is ready again, we're going back in. Though I should be spending more time on the tree. Uh, Odali could go back in. What did I do last time? Was it attachment or was it repression? Because I'll do the other. What was it? Does anyone remember what I picked? Attachment? Okay, I'm sure repression will go well. Yeah! Let's try repressing the, the tree. I wonder how everyone else is feeling about working in this place. Says, uh, says Odali. Moments before violently dying in the tree room. And let's see how bad this is. Okay, uh, it's not so bad that I think we'll die doing it, looking at the rate here. Uh, actually, hang on a second, chat. Uh, okay, no, we're good. We're okay. We're okay. It's another 50 50. Uh, oh, Mirabelle's good. I accidentally paused it perfectly on what it was supposed to be. Oh my god! Mirabelle, it's time to get to work! It's time. She's become like a god. It's time for you to research the tree until we understand everything that is to be known about it. And also kill the bird. She's become a god. Okay, let's get Vincent to do another skin run. Rose Brown. Get back to work, Brown. You know your job. Come on. Vincent, get over here. I can't believe how strong they just became. Oh my god! Come on! Are you shy? Almost there. Be happy, I got you another new treat. It's a can of cheese whiz. Don't you like cheese whiz? Shy look today. You eat the whole can whole. Don't you want some fun cheese in a can? Yeah, you do. All right. Vincent, get to work. Get to work understanding their secrets. There's no way I'm gonna make it in time. I did. Oh my God. Okay. Mirabelle, I'm sending you in specifically after I've checked another one of the things we're gonna check attachment everything's just common I know the repression wasn't bad but instinct was so bad we should never do it again so I'm going to send you in on repression which is currently level 4 because of your stats so uh yeah you're gonna do level 4 repression on the tree until we understand all there is to know about it Mirabelle that or you die one or the other <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. Is that giant bugs? Well, uh, Brown, it's time to finish our research on the one sin in hundreds of good deeds. Brown. So why don't you, uh, why don't you move to position? Everyone else just stay inside. Also, um, hey, Mirabelle fucked up. Hey, Mirabelle, how'd you fuck this up? How, you're like the strongest. Okay. Mirabelle, get inside. Just go here. Just get inside the fucking hallway. Everyone just hang out. The day's done. We're good. <laughs> I'm just gonna act like that didn't go wrong. 
We lost Mirabelle. Mirabelle died on their own of various other circumstances uh, that we didn't see. Uh, hey, she was technically a stat one throwaway that we purchased specifically to throw away. So I'm okay with that. I'm not sure how she died. Um, she should have been essentially a god. But the only reason she went down was because I guess being a god matters not to the death tree. So I'll tell you one thing. Uh, we're going to continue sending worthless nobodies into the death tree. Uh, until such time as we understand its dark secrets. Maybe having specifically level 4 is bad. That's some rough shit if that's true. Sir, your angel is chewing a body part of our colleague. Yeah, angel chew guy is still here. Um, 0115, one day maybe you will know the meaning of desperation in their faces when the roulette spins. Unsurprisingly, not a single employee volunteered to retrieve the corpse of their cocooned colleague. Well, I know what I'm not picking. I'm gonna take the roulette. I'm gonna take the gacha game. Give me fucking big money! The energy output is increasing. You proved that you are more capable than you thought yourself. The high echelon is watching you. A, the founder, is among them. Do you know anything about A? He is a visionary, a farmer who sows seeds on virgin soil. He may want to see you in person soon. If that happens, you can make your dreams come true. Me? Of course I admire him. To be fair, he is the creator of me. He is also enigmatic. Only a few would understand him. In fact, understanding someone is difficult. Will the day come when I understand you completely? No, I'm unknowable. Talonair, thanks for resubscribing for three months. A very entertaining three months. Purple Torque, thanks for the six months. Can I borrow $4.99 plus taxes? Uh, you know how subscriptions work, right? I'm sorry to tell you this, Purple Tor Torque, but I just stole your $5. And I'm keeping them. I'm sorry. Vardis, thanks for the eight months. Detonate the nukes. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those bugs. I'm going to reckon that was the tree who did that. Drake Griswold, thanks for the resubscription for three months as well. <laughs> Manager, you represent the company. I think your outfit is not up for company standards. It's me, guy who wears a turtleneck underneath their fucking suit. Whatever. I am Yassad, the Serifa, the Sephiroth, the information team. I am in charge of processing and archiving all the data of the company. We need to concentrate and focus on our all on our job all the time. Like the curators of a library. A single mistake from us could cause a disaster. I'm sure you'd understand the gravity of my work. Every bit of data we have cost us blood and lives. You should show some respect. <laughs> I am a little allergic to revealing cloths. I hate revealing cloths. I don't know why or since when though. Probably before I got into the company. That's why I wear a turtleneck and gloves. My skin. Who's Netzek? Yasad, do you have some spare paper? Netzek, you know the rules. We're not supposed to trade stuff between teams. Yasad and Viper. Yasad the Viper is not in a good mood. I am leaving. Is this entertaining to you? My apologies, I overreacted a bit. Other Sephiroths are just making fun of me for my skin condition. But I know employees hate me. I know my nickname is not a positive one. No shit, but I like it because I earned it on purpose. I mean to people on purpose. It tells others who I am. What do you think of my nickname? I don't like it. You're sort of a jackass. Well, I like it anyway. <laughs> I should go now. I must finish today's work. Oh, I will send you the next assignment. Complete instinct work four times. Okay. Would you like to expand information theme? I don't have a choice. Well, that's another box.
I suppose. We are going to go ahead and hire a new boy since the last one was devoured by bugs. And then I think the stress of the job. Saborgi. <laughs> C.O. Borgi. My name is C.O. Baloney. <laughs> what a name. All right. Get yourself some buff punch points. Baloney, because you are the best of us now. Welcome to the squad. Get yourself a hammer and a nice piece of armor and get ready to die at my hands. Well, what do we got over here? This one's, uh... This one's sort of bad. Hey, gang. Okay. Uh... Well, um, we need a hundred energy. I need to spend some time investigating the new meat, so I'm gonna just go ahead and grab... Sear, uh, we're gonna grab Vincent, one of our brightest minds, to use insight, because insight's usually somewhat safe, and we might need some insight to understand Mouthman. This was the roulette wheel, by the way, you fucking assholes. Everyone's like, pick the roulette, ru pick the roulette wheel, it'll be easy. This is the wheel. <laughs> well, it'll be fine. Wow, this guy's worth a lot of energy, chat. Oh my god. Chat, this is a money maker. I'm not sure what it is. Um. It's pretty much neck and neck with Vincent on Insight. And this one's big money. Vincent is going to be in a lot of pain after this. I think they need more, like, health after that. Yeah. Soul Shocks did the 20 subscriptions in the chaos at some point. Thank you so much, Soul Shocks. Very, very kind of you. Sorry, I missed it. I think I was probably reading, right? Yeah. That adds up. Okay. Well. <laughs> Let's send someone in with health. Or not anyone at all. That's a good idea. All right, how much health did Vincent have in that? 44? Okay. Let's send in... Let's do another quick test. Let's do a test. Let's send in someone with high instinct. Because instinct is health. Let's send in Ciro. If Ciro can survive it, that's a lot of energy. But they have to be able to survive. They almost finished it, but about half of their HP, about half of the bar, was enough to kill them. So, um... Yeah, that's like 44 damage if they get to 50%. Uh, Super Xeno 64, thanks for three months prime. Castellian, two months. Thank you so much. Paying it forward for the sub you gifted me playing New Vegas. Then another investment pays off. Love your content, Tanto. Thank you. Oh, this is going really well. Oh my god, Ciro's found her new job. Chat. Chat. Where's that breathing coming from? I don't care. I'm looking at how much money I'm making off of this one. Uh, it's actually getting worse all of a sudden, but Zero can actually survive this pretty comfortably because they have about double the health of Vincent. Uh, my chef, two months prime. Subscribe now at Twitch Prime or I'll fuck you up, they say. Okay, well, um, we did it. It was average. I thought I would never win against an abnormality back then, but I feel like I can now. I don't know how much health that cost him. How do I check their stats? Without, like, going to another spot. Yeah, they lost, uh, like, 30 there. See, what scares me isn't even this guy, it's the bird. <laughs> the bird is what scares me, chat. I fear nothing in this world but the bird. Okay, so, um, what are you? 
This creature takes the shape of an unborn fetus. Its skin is covered with a sticky slime-like liquid and many visible veins. Uh, the creature's abnormally bulged eyes are usually closed. The creature always seems unsatisfied, but exactly what its needs are is undetermined. It has great obsession to being fed, and if it is not fed regularly, its stress levels rise drastically. When it reaches a certain level of stress, it cries out loudly with a cry that mentally harms all those around the creature. All right. I have to send someone else to fucking deal with this again. I guess I'll send fucking Vincent. Like, I gotta send someone to deal with the tree and learn about it. I think Vincent can survive a tree even if they almost fail it because they have the highest brain power. But I don't want to send Ciros back in there unless uh, their health is good. As soon as they are good, I'm going to send them back in though. Ciro's actually good right now. Go back and do another brain. Do another one of these. Okay, Vincent. I gotta know about what the tree is. So do this well. Wow, they're doing really well. Chat. They're actually doing average, which is better than usual for the... Oh, God. Vincent! Fight it, Vincent! Okay. Well, not great, not terrible. Uh, good news is this one, even at 50%, Ciro might be definitely going to die. Wait, Ciro can survive all the way to like 50% comfortably. So if we meet in around 50, we'll be okay. This is such a gross monster. What the fuck? Slime man. Don't die. You're my strongest warrior. I need you to kill the bird. Don't die. Or you're good. All right, how much, did, how much did that damage them? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is your secrets, Mr. Bird? See, chat, everyone's like, the bird's harmless. It's just a bird. People have been committing sins for a long... People have been committing sins from a long time ago. Why do they commit such a thing, says the bird, even when they know that it is a bad? The little bird wondered. It must be because they don't have someone that punishes bad people. Foul things will never happen if I take the role of the punisher. The little bird moved out of the forest that day. And it never went back. It punishes. Well, I am going to send more people to research it with insight. Because, uh, we got people, we got people with insight. So, Odalie, that's your new job is to train at Innocence Bird until the one day you're good enough to, uh, survive. And, uh, Tree is unknowable. I'm going to just keep trying to figure out what's the best abnormality stat to use. Definitely not repression. Okay, so it's anything but repression. And uh, we're just gonna have to wing it with another person with high HP. Who's crying? What are you, hungry? Alright, everyone, clear the, clear the fucking hall. Oh my god. Siborgi, get out of the hall! Get upstairs! Are you hungry? I'm not gonna worry about him. Oh God. How do I? Okay, we gotta send someone to deal with him or he's gonna get mad, I guess. Wheel of Fortune. Wait, what? <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Why are people clapping? What happened to Odalie? I'm so confused what the bird just did. I can't send anyone to deal with Cryboy. Everyone, just hang on up here. We've lost a lot of people as a result of Crying Baby. I don't even know how to... It won't even let me treat the Crying Baby. 
Oh my god. Odalie just fed herself to the monster. I think is what just happened. How do I cure panicking? I know that if I talk to Sin Boy, perfectly producing... Uh, is there a way that I can reliably cure panicking without letting them die? Use weapons with white or black damage. That's all of us. That's all of us with uh, the hammers other than Gun Boy. So uh, we'll send you two down to try to get Saborgi. Go get him. Okay, so you have to be regularly fed. <laughs> I understand now. So, uh, what are you? Nameless fetus. Okay. This creature takes the shape of an unborn fetus. Uh, excerpt from interview log 249. Employee F2706. I've never seen it smile. It always seems to want something, but we can't ever fulfill its desire. I guess the reason why it's cr crying is destructive is because it's unsatisfied. Its unsatisfied needs are so strong. When I was new here, none of my colleagues would tell me exactly what the feed was. I thought it was milk or something else that little babies consume. It is a baby after all, even with all of its grossness. Uh, but that was not the case. It only eats human flesh. Can you believe it? To stop it from crying, we have to hold a draw every once in a while. Do you know what that means? Chet, someone literally has to be fed to this thing every once in a while. Uh, that's the roulette. Someone has to die. Meanwhile, Siborgi, ah, ah, in the fucking lobby. Are we, going, are we going downstairs to clean this up? Yeah, we're the pincer move on this fucking guy. Let me go home. I want to go home. Should be easy to kill Saborgi. Ha! Knock him out. All right, we got him. We're good. Okay, so, um, the fetus ate one of our guys. Pretty bad, if I'm going to be honest. But, um, hey, let's look at managerial tips. Maybe the last manager had a better job. Uh, then this one. When the work result was normal, Nameless Fetus Quiloff counter has decreased with a low probability. Alright. So, we want to do stuff with a decent work result. Rest in peace, Odalie. I sank seven points of hiring into you. We gotta send someone more talented than you down there. Ciro can't go back, his brain's melting. Uh, let's send Vincent. No, we can't. That's what killed Vincent last time. We never completed working with this bird. Because I think whoever was working on it fucking died by feeding themselves to the ro like the monster. Okay. Someone has to go deal with the sprouting. Oh, it's yeah, it is sprouting flowers. It must be time to have someone go look at it. Okay. Uh, you like attachment? Yeah, okay. Brown would not survive any counter. I don't even know who to send. Brown has no health. Brown's fortitude is so bad. Uh, I don't understand. I think my best bet is to send old Ciro. Low brain or no? I think we send, uh, I think we send Ciro and we just have Brown continue at Skull, which restores everyone's brain power. Matter of fact, I'm gonna hold off until Brown does a perfect brain run because they should be able to do it for free with their hat or at least pretty good shit with it. And we hope that this thing never cries again because it, it already fed once today. Hopefully it'll never have to do it again. Okay, uh, the bird's gonna escape any minute now. That's 
that's not great, but we're postponing it by being in here, so Vincent can just go right back in again. Um, let's have the skull restore everyone's brain, well, Ciro's brain, by doing this successfully, hopefully, perfectly, if we get lucky. And we're, hey, we're getting better at dealing with the bird. That's good shit. Stay right here, Vincent. We gotta go back in. As soon as that timer's done, we go back. God, I can't believe how quickly Nameless Fetus got bad. <laughs> Alright, that should have restored Ciro's brain. Just in case this does, like, brain damage to my guy. Yeah. Alright, so that restores everyone's brain. So Brown's great at restoring sanity. So I'm gonna send Ciro down to yell at the tree. <laughs> Because hopefully no amount of damage can kill Ciro. Only brain damage could. Matter of fact, I might even have Brown be doing another cycle while Ciro is in there. So let's actually send them right now back in. Okay, we gotta send Vincent back into the bird room now. Okay, please don't destroy my face! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Petals shall fall like screams when everything is over, says the tree, doing its thing. Uh, goodness, is our brain power is going to be restored in the middle of this event. How's Bird doing? Good. About as good as it can do. Okay. Hey, I mean, that was a good tree run. Uh, compared to everything that's happened so far, that was like a big smile. How much did that actually hurt him? What did that do to Ciro? Oh my god, the brain. Okay, we gotta send Brown back to do more fucking attachment on the skull and hopefully do it right this time. I'd like the bird gun, if I can. So, um, I'm going to send Vincent. He's out of control. Okay, hang on. Change of plans. Everyone cancel orders. Vincent's gone crazy. Why is Vin why is Vincent glowing? Vincent? Where are you going? I can't stop them. Vincent? Oh, it's the tree. Someone got in there now! Saborgi? No, you won't do. We need someone for storing our brain power. Brown needs to get back into the attachment room. Zero, you gotta chase him down there. Get down there first. Vincent! Whoa! What the fuck? Huh. Oh. Better them than me. Okay. Dude, now's like the perfect time to do more research. Fuck yeah. All right. Hey. All right. Let's send Vincent down. What's the worst that could happen? It's already fed. Chat. I'm glad that stupid D-Class was the one who bit the, you know, bit the bullet and decided to die. Because, um... That makes the research a lot easier for a bit. I'm so fucking afraid of this one now. What do I even, what was the best thing to do? Was it brutality? Was it zero? I had zero down there. I need to send them back in. We need more energy. And it's about to be the end. All right, this is like the perfect chance for us to capitalize on this. Zero's about to get their brain power back a little bit, maybe. Zero will survive. Complete food. Oh no. The bugs are back. I don't even know where that came from. Well, Ciro, uh, change of plans. We can't go in those hallways, so I guess we won't be doing Nameless Fetus. Let's go to Shylook today. Shylook was always good. And bugs don't live in that hallway, so that's cool. Tree room's going well enough. Uh, Brown can do another round of the sin. 
monster. Bird gets fucking benched. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh, there's a gift! Check! Change your plans. Yo, Saborgi, you'll be fine. I need you to go get that gift from the bird. I was totally wrong about you being fine, Saborgi, but maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to cling to life long enough to get in there and not- Oh, you'll be totally fine. You barely even got hit. What the fuck? Guys, I forgot we have armor on all these guys. Okay, we just have to make sure we finish this before Saborgi finishes. Uh, the mission. That should be okay. Okay. Well, uh... Zero. Does one good run of big smile and we're done here. It's time. Get there! Get there now! Who? Okay. Alright, so we might get a gift from the bird this time. The brooch. Which will boost our movement speed and attack speed. If we are deemed worthy. If we're deemed worthy by the bird. And then we'll be done. Uh, once this mission's, once this is over. Okay, they didn't give us, they didn't give it to us. Forget it. They didn't deem us worthy of its gift. Sorry, chat. <laughs> Maybe next time. Guess we're not good enough for the punishing bird. I'm making a gun out of the bird's shit. Oh, the bugs are gone. Brown is no longer moving? Brown? Oh my god. Well, Brown's dead, because I guess they got devoured by bugs. There's no, like, noise. There's no fucking audio telling me if someone's in danger. It's, like, really hard to fucking tell if there's something going on. Because there's so little on-screen heads up explaining any of it to me. I'm gonna redo today. Because <laughs> I just lost Brown. No. Fuck! There's so little sound design that I can't tell if there's something wrong. Whatever. At least now we know more about the roulette monster, so we can at least work with that. We have to go through the roulette again? I mean, if I could trick Saborgi into being the roulette target, that would be great. I mean, I might just try to walk them down to be the roulette target. If I have to- if there's- if I can choose who gets eaten, I'll choose. Understand? He wasn't dead? No, he was. The second that it gives a single pop-up saying that someone is down, they're gone. They're gone now. Well, uh, I guess let's get as much out of this guy as we can before we have to evacuate the hallway. Um. So that means Seros right away. Down here. Seros. Cero, go get it. And the rest of you are all going to just sort of toss yourselves at this tree until your sanity has gone to mush. Go on. We need context for its secrets. God, it's too bad that that happened right at the end. I was going to let that one play through. Okay, back to the bird, Vincent. Back to the bird for old Vincent. Tree's going average, as it should be. It's a brain attack, so it's not like, as long as we're having someone, as long as we're having Brown do skeleton every once in a while. I don't know what's making the fucking bugs though. That's what's bothering me. I don't know where that bug is coming from. Huh. That's bugging me a little bit. Okay. This isn't going as well this time with Zero, uh, at all. Uh, yikes, actually, Zero. What the fuck? Fight back! I'm gonna guess it's the tree. Why don't I just ask the tree? Myself. Grave of Cherry Blossoms. 
A tree standing in the middle of the containment chamber. It never withers. Uh, did you see the new that new abnormality? I think you're in charge of it. Yeah, I saw it. It was just a tree with some bugs along the branches. I don't think they're going to blossom without sunlight. Did you start the observation yet? Nah, I think I'll get to it now. Okay, take care. That was worthless. Okay, well, um, it wasn't very helpful for me. No one really knows what the fuck to think of that. Uh, but at least now we know it's called the grave and it's growing more blossoms again. It's when it's at full blossoming that we need to be concerned and stop whoever is going down there from going down there, I think. So, um, we can do another round with Odalie in there. Okay, that was average. Um, let's just rush this and get all of our energy before it's a problem, chat. Zero, go up to the shy look today. Quite lost meltdown. What does that mean? It's the you must be happy machine. All right, Shaborgi, <laughs> get up to that machine. You're on, you're on keep the machine happy duty today, Shaborgi. Get on in there. Okay, it's time. I have enough health for this. What with it being big smile. We're getting a lot of good luck on the tree right now uh, before it grows all the way. So look, it looks like it's over time. We do not want to be near this thing when it gets full blossom, though. We know that. For certain. Send that thing back to attachment. Let's send Vincent to do another set of punishing bird. The tree is pretty much fully leaved now. Uh, I can afford to do one more set of insight with Odalie on it. And then everyone evacs the bottom floors. This is the last thing we do here. We never come back. Hey, uh, what happened, Saborgi? Oh, he got a minor buff to some stuff, but not much. Hey, whatever. I mean, it's better than the meltdown. Okay, let's hope we don't get eaten. Everything's going well. We don't touch this thing until we have another... Uh, we just don't touch it. We ignore it. And we don't come back to this after this one lap. New machine lore. Could you take a look at it, pretty please? Uh, we don't have new machine lore. Those who answered yes to the question, do you love your city, were deemed cured. Those who answered no, weren't allowed to be discharged. Oh, Matt. I thought you meant I unlocked level five. Also, don't ask me to do things. <laughs> I'll read the lore when I will it. It's time to go. Everyone upstairs. We're out. We're never coming back. We're done in the basement. We live up in the lobbies now. Actually, as far up as possible. Get back to work. Okay. Let's try to do that. At least this one is easy as shit. This is like safe money. We're almost on to the next day without a horrific accident. If I can just get out of here before the crying start. Is that a fucking evil doll? Is that a clown? Okay. Hey, uh, Vincent, can you do like one more lap of the bird while we try to figure out, uh, actually, I guess just run. Yeah. We've made it until now. Let's keep it that way, says Saborgi, giving up on fighting that clown doll. Gamma has got a gun. Let's, let's just let the fucking, like, scouts handle this. All the D-class. Let them fucking die. I'm not going to die for them. All right. This thing's ready for work. Alright, that should end the game. Once I do that, I'm just gonna go back upstairs. These ones that we're doing right now should end the game. Oh god, it's happening. I think it's getting close to angry. Good news is there's plenty of food outside. Finish the work! 
managed to work! You, Epsilon 10, go in there. Oh boy. No one's downstairs, everyone's upstairs, right? If you can move. Okay, we, get, we need three more points. Once Shiloh today is done, we'll be gone. We'll be gone. We'll be gone. I didn't realize there was a monster in here still. Day work is... We're done. We're good. No one died. No one died. We're done. The tree? Eh, what about the tree? I ain't... I ain't going anywhere near waiting for that to finish. Today. Everyone's getting promotions because I fucking survived this. Look at this. Because no one died, everyone's good. I got actual, like, buffs from everyone that I hired. Whew. Okay. Alright, and just like that. Man, this is sort of a stressful game. Uh, life is only given to those who do not fear death. I'm coming to you. You, who will be reduced to ashes like me, or with my infinite hatred, I give you this gift. Chat, we are struck with a situation of no good choices. Uh... <laughs> this one's coming for me. I don't like that. I think I'm gonna take infinite hatred, because at least he's saying he's gonna give me a gift. Yeah? Infinite hatred. Give me hatred. Let me ask you a question. What would you do if one of your subordinates is harvesting energy from an abnormality to meet the quota, but they are facing a certain death doing it? It's a very basic question. I'm sure you know the right answer. Yeah, I fucking let them do it. <laughs> and then I cl click reset if they were someone important. Energy. Not the perfect answer I expected. The perfect answer would be harvest energy before situations like that could happen. Lobotomy is an industry giant, and its mission is top priority. You did listen to my words. I expect you to manage your subordinates in that attitude. Okay. God, I hope I don't have to hear more lore from fucking Turtleneck Boy. Because, God, I can't tell you how little I care about that one. Well, uh... So essentially, if it's a Zayin thing, it is safe. It's not a danger. It just causes, like, random effects to the group if it's about to escape. Death ones are somewhat dangerous. I'm going to assume that whatever Blob Boy is, he's a level beyond Teth, from what I remember when I identified him. Uh, he was some other shit. So Teth is, like, Euclid or whatever the fuck for, um the SCP stuff. Level he? Yeah. So Zayin is safe, Teth is Euclid or whatever. Uh, he would be like sort of Keter tier. Okay, well, I have lob points and I'm gonna use them. Thank you very much. To summon more people. And also, actually, I'm not gonna summon anyone. Actually, yes, I am. I'm gonna hire one person. One average Joe named Yoon Hu. Super average. His job is to exist. And when, what, simultaneously with this, we're going to buff Subord with one more Prudence. Hang on. Can I get... Yeah, I'm gonna buff Temperance and Prince on Suborgy and make him an honorary actual member. And Yoon Hu will be the new sacrificial pawn. <laughs> there must always be one in the company chat. Yoon Hu will be the new pawn who works merely to die. Okay, do I have enough to give you a suit or a weapon? We won't send them out naked. All right. Let's see what we got. This is the end. This is infinite hatred. Uh, the new one we just got. Chat, why the fuck did you let me pick it? Chat, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to this. 
Is that is that like Santa? That's Santa's sleigh with a blob of amorphous coal. That's a reindeer Santa Claus. Well, we all know how this was gonna go. Yoon Hu, go on in there and use your insight work to uh, uh, evaluate what that is, uh, just in case before we send someone of value in there. The rest of you, you know how this all works. Go to your stations. You will do one lap of zero every time when we start for this in case we get lucky. And we can send sub we can send Odalie to do insight on this one. And let's see what the fuck FO249 does. Yunhu, Merry Christmas. First day on the job, a gentle new employee is on his name tag. Let's see how that pays off for him. Alright, he's terrified of the monster. But he's doing good so far. Good start. Very good start. We're already at Meltdown. Oh god, why? We're gonna have to send Yun Hu in even if he survives over there to stop the madness. Or send Ciro's back, Ciro back in if she doesn't die from this. That's the other plan. If she hasn't taken a ton of damage, we send her right back in. We can do the math on that. Hey, Yun Hu is doing... He's about to get a fucking raise. He must have been a really good boy this year. To be able to survive meet Santa like that. Wow. Cyril's not doing too bad either. Punishing Bird did well enough. We'll send Vincent back in. Send uh, Brown back in as well. Okay. Okay. Wow, that was actually really good, Yoon Hu. Holy hell, big smiles! What was what was that? That was uh he did um he did insight for that. Big smiles, Yoon Hu. How's your body doing? How are you doing physically right now? Let me know. Let's see how you're doing physically, Yoon Hu. Oh my god, his brain is melted. He's lucky to be alive right now. Literally, he's lucky to be alive. Okay. Well, uh, his brain is gone, chat. There's none left. Odalie, you're going in. <laughs> you're going back in there. Cyrus needs to, needs to do this again right now. Oh my God, it's happening. The meltdown started early. Yoon Hu. Everyone. Evac to the top floors. No, not that way, you fucking idiot! Odalie, you can't go that way. Where's Yoon Hu? Everyone's passing out. Where's his- where'd he go? His brain was hurting and then he fucking went home. I need you, Yoon Hu, you are. The Chosen. Oh, he's up here. What's up with Chip and our armbands? You know, can you, uh... No. I don't want to be Saborky. <laughs> I don't think it'll be Saborky. If I have to choose... I choose actively ignoring the bottom floors. If I can choose, that is. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can just ignore it and just keep doing stuff on these floors. Wait a minute, what are you doing? Don't go down here. Get the fuck up this floor. Go up the elevator now. Okay, we gotta send Ciro. You get back to work here. We're just gonna act like there's not a problem. We're gonna ignore the crying. Uh, where's Ciro? Ciro, move, start moving there. Vincent's gonna go back to Sad Bird. Punishing Bird. Do another round of Punishing Bird. We can just ignore it. We'll just act like it's not a problem. He can be as sad as he wants, a little bitch. Alright? Odile, why are you here again? 
No, if you have time to do that, you have time to do insight on the tree. Get in the fucking thing. Hang on, actually, no, you don't. Hang on. Alert. What's happening? Santa! Alright, uh, off, bo bottom floor's off limits. Who is that? Timid employee! That's okay. No, that's Zero! Zero, wait! No! Oh, no! No! Well, I honestly have no idea how to fucking stop that. Uh, Zero's dead. Zero's dead. Baby's still fucking crying. I don't know where Santa is. Oh, there he is. Slaying along. I don't think he's bringing presents. We need to finish the day. <laughs> I can live with Zero being dead. Honestly, I can't. I'm not gonna reload for one death unless it gets bad from now on. So as to not be restarting a billion times. Uh, where's Santa? It's just slaying downstairs by the tree. Odalie needs to go over to this side so I can actually wait properly. Vincent, get back to work! Oh my god. Like, move over here. You can't move them, they just go randomly to their spot. So it's like the best I can do is just spam move to get them as close to the door as possible so I can try. Fruit of understanding, to understand what is beyond comprehension. Lots going wrong up in the old offices today, chat. Uh, weird day. Act like there's just not a problem. Yeah, that's always helped before. Wait. No, they're not in this right- they're not in the right spot yet. I wish Zero wasn't dead though, they were our best employee. And the baby wants more bodies, they're still hungry. Huh. That looks like a... Organ Ocarina. Well, back to work! Get happy now! <laughs> I really need this. Get happy! Come on, big smiles! I got your favorite. I made Hot Pockets today. Just for you. Come on. Listen, you little shit. You don't get happy right now, and I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna come in there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my flesh gun that I made out of your flesh and I'm gonna shoot you. That thing doesn't know how to move, right? Where's the deer? Oh, just hanging out, slaying to the baby. <laughs> you know, it's time. We lost our strongest warrior, but oh my god. When was Odalie's brain so bad? Where's Saborgi? No, we're just not gonna do it. If we send Odalie in there, they're gonna die. Odalie, just go upstairs. Maybe they'll eat each other. If we're lucky. Oh my god! You little shit! Whatever. Just Epsilon 5. Why would I care about Epsilon 5? What else just spawned to kill us? I don't care about D-Boys. I care about Ciro, who I just lost. Man, everyone dies in my place. I'm not a very good manager. Oh well. Oh, yeah, that's still a B. I <laughs> mean, 83% is a passing grade. <laughs> hey, chat. Uh, have I gotten, like, the worst cocktail of ab abnormalities ever because I feel like baby with tree monster I don't understand what to do uh, with any of them I feel like I'm getting fucking bombarded by bullshit almost every day I know it could get worse but I haven't researched it I don't I, I know that like this game is meant for you to do new runs if you get fucked really bad I feel like I'm getting fucked really bad. 
Well, next day. Tree's not too bad because you can just sort of move everyone as far away as possible, let some other idiot feed on them, but Baby is like locking down an entire floor level bed. Okay, what have I got here? This portrait captures a moment is what we must lose. Satisfaction is only temporary. That sounds pretty good. Save us now and forevermore, the truth shall set us free. Satisfaction is only temporary, <laughs> said the machine. Manager, I want you to choose one among the alphabet A, B, and C. A. Did you pick one? Good, then listen carefully. A is a good letter. My name starts with it as well. People who chose A are sensitive to others' opinions about you, yet results oriented. Uh, you are as... You are an excellent listener. People around you will flock to you. I picked A in a... I picked fucking random choices. It's a new pastime among the employees, but I find it uninteresting. No scientific observations. It's just good for passing time. One could also imagine... I could have been this or that kind of a person if I were a human. What? Was that too far? What are you talking... Bye. Man, Angela, you gotta shut the fuck up. I lose 80 people a day now. Leave me alone. All right, I'm doing my fucking job as best as I can. You sent a fucking box to my door that literally talked about infinite hatred and it skis around my bottom floor, putting people in its coal sack and eating them. You've given me a meat reindeer full of infinite hatred. You fucking suck. Give me like normal shit. Okay, well. Uh, they gave me one lob point to replace Zero, so... I guess I'll replace Zero with a normal NPC named Emma. Congratulations, Emma. Welcome to the team. You got big shoes to fill, Emma. You got big shoes to fill. Big, big shoes. I miss Zero. Zero was like a god. Compared to the rest of them. Infinite hatred is a priceless gift. The first person we sent into infinite hatred literally pissed themselves. And he's the chillest guy in the group. Alright, well, let's see what we're dealing with. Uh, I suppose. We're about to wrap up. I'm pretty much done for tonight. I'm gonna see what this thing is, but then I'm gonna call it. Okay, so that's a portrait. I guess we'll just send our most knowledgeable man. Oh, this isn't even, this is just an observation one. Okay. So this is satisfaction is only temporary. We'll send Vincent down the elevator. Yeah, this is a good game. Uh, the translation makes it sort of hard to enjoy in some ways. Like, I can only read the lore for so long when it's in... Uh, Vincent? Are you good? You got a buff. Okay, well, since you're so good, Vincent. Last thing you're gonna do today. Wait a minute. Why is your insight level one? Did it swap your st it swapped you to good at repression? Okay, go repress Santa. Right now, before you're done. Before we finish here. Repress, repress Santa. I mean, this game has really good reviews despite the uh, translation, but holy hell. Uh, they really should have hired someone to do it. Because, mother of God, it is not good. Uh, it's a very not streamer friendly. Well, Vincent, uh, alas. It looks like Meat Santa is totally kicking your ass right now. I think they're dead. Yeah, they're not doing great. Well, uh, yeah. Oops. Chat, I'm gonna be done for tonight. Uh, I, I gotta go. I got stuff I gotta do. I gotta eat some food. I'm fucking hungry. I'll be back tomorrow, streaming again, normal time. Probably, this game's cool. I urge you to try it out if you can get through the translations. I am personally of the mindset that I'll probably just play it on my own. And see if I like shit later on. But um, 
I'm not gonna stream it again. Uh, the translation's not good enough. Uh, it's hard, if I have to fucking auto-correct the lore for them, uh, that's pretty bad. So, um, I'm gonna send you guys on over to Bruce. He's playing Earth Defense Force, okay? That's the end of that. I wish you all well. I wish you all well. I'll be back tomorrow uh, with more stupid shit. All right. Maybe, maybe Stalker. Maybe something else. I'm not sure yet. Uh, maybe one of the weird indie games I've been picking out. None of them were ready for today. But I got some fucking weird shit. Like weird shit. Coming up. Soon. I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye-bye now.